Hey guys, good evening everybody. Thank you all for being here. So yeah, I, I saw it asked a couple of times, we are going on Skull Rock. And what we're kind of assuming, slash hoping, is that Skull Rock's going to be the Horde server and Defias Pillager is going to be the Alliance server. Steven, thanks man. That's really generous of you, I appreciate that. Thank you guys all for showing up, it's kind of incredible. Uh, I think this is as many people as I've ever had waiting before a stream starts. So yeah, there's a lot of hype, and I appreciate that. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny if, it'll, if it's the opposite. Yeah, I thought about that too. Uh, that maybe players would be contrary. Uh, but I think uh, Zaryu, is a, he's a big streamer. <laughs> and he's going Horde. Was it, was it Zaryu, someone told me? I don't really know these guys that well. I think he's going Horde on Skull Rock, so I'm pretty sure that, you know, Skull Rock is going to be Horde, Defy's Pillager is going to be Alliance. Could be could be totally wrong, but that's uh, that's what we're going with uh, to, to start things off here. David, I'm, I'm glad you're digging the Warcraft 3. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I played a little bit more today. So I'm assuming that I'm not going to be able to sit here and watch these come live, right? I'm probably going to have to disconnect my client at some point. Uh, in order to oh look blood cell buccaneers was low pop earlier but i think people are logged in to just like hang out and wait glad you guys are digging the warcraft 3 it's it's a lot of fun it's such an incredible game it, it, it's so different from wow in the sense that it's like highly it's highly narrative and there's like there's good dialogue <laughs> there's well written dialogue and it has a strong narrative story so different Did I notice the input settings in Warcraft 3? I don't think so. I've been I've been fighting with the volume settings in War 3 because they only have sound effects and music, and sound effects also covers dialogue for some reason. So how much time do we got? We still got plenty of time. I'm tempted to uh, to log into Blood Cell here and hang out for a second. Yeah, it is really weird, isn't it? Like, you, you need to have dialogue separate from everything else. E even if you only have, like, sound effects, music, and dialogue, you absolutely... You, you, can't, you can't make dialogue a sound effect. It's so strange. But it's probably what it was originally, you know? Johnny, you're naming your, your first druid is going to be Murder Tacos. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? Alex said he might not he might not play tonight because it's going to be late for him. I, I think like a lot of people in the EU, you, you guys are probably not very happy with the launch times. And I think a lot of people are just going to wait till tomorrow to play. If if I were in the EU, I'd be asleep already. I'd be trying to like go to sleep early, have a have a good night's sleep. I'd be waking up at like four or five in the morning. You know what I mean? Yep, that's what I would do. If it's a late launch, like, I, I I remember, like, the Cataclysm launch originally was really late, so, like, my guild stayed up and they all played overnight. I went to bed super early, and I woke up before when all of them were going to sleep. <laughs> so I had the whole day to myself. Yeah, we're doing Skull Rock still. Uh-huh, here, I'll put a little, uh, I'll, I'll pin a comment. And I will pin that so that people can see it. I thought I, I thought I had it in the title, but maybe I put it in the description instead. Yeah, Steven, it is it is Pacific. We had this big conversation yesterday. When, when there's only two servers, y you can't choose based on time zone. You have to choose based on faction. You know what I mean? We, we had this big conversation about it yesterday. The, the time zone's not going to matter because everyone playing Horde is going to be playing on Skull Rock. So there will be people in Eastern, Central, Pacific. There will be people, you know, from the EU and other places playing on, a, a, you know, the U.S. servers. The time, the time zone doesn't matter when you only have two choices. 
it's not going to matter at all because one because one server is going to be horde and one server is going to be alliance and so the time zone thing doesn't matter when you have a bunch of choices like i always pick the high pop for for my for my time zone for my for my uh faction because a lot of times you have choices right you could say okay what's the highest pop alliance server for east coast and you pick that one if you want to do alliance on east coast but in this situation you just you disregard the time zone it's not it's not going to be the issue or, or people could be contrary, and we could see all Alliance go on Skull Rock, and we could see all Horde go on uh, Defias Pillager. We we don't know, but I think I think a couple of the uh, a couple of the big streamers are taking their Horde side to Skull Rock, so I think that's a pretty good jumping off point. We're we're gonna be st well. We have we have seven minutes or so, eight minutes. And then maybe we'll be able to try to log in. I think I'm going to have to probably close the game out completely to see the servers go live. Was it a conversation? It, yeah, it wasn't a... I call everything a conversation because there can be more than one side. Even if my side of it is the only one that's correct, it can still be a conversation. It was someone who was blatantly not understanding. Um... And no, I think they were not understanding because uh, of things I've said in the past about how I, I do try to be in my time zone if I have a choice, you know. But in this case, there's not really a choice. Go to character select. Oh, what are we, what are we looking at here? Yeah, if you don't see the hardcore tabs, you're going to have to totally close out and come back in. But I think that even if you can see them now, you're probably going to have to close the client to see them come live. I'm assuming they're going to have to shut everything down for a second, right? How do you guys think this is going to work? It's funny, they, they don't ever like tell you what to expect or give you like any best practices for like a launch night. They're not like, make sure the browser is closed at 6 o'clock uh, and then restart. They don't give you any like best practices. You just have a bunch of people fumbling to try to get in on time and only some people are going to get in on time. I'm assuming they're going to have to reboot everything. Yeah, they're offline right now. Yeah, we were on Bloodsail Buccaneers. It will probably work poorly. <laughs> yeah, it could. I'm hoping it's super smooth and we get right in. We got about six more minutes. Yeah, I, I think I will... We'll look at it here. We'll, we'll watch it here, okay? But then, like, if we hit six o'clock my time and this does not turn to online, we're going to... We're going to close out. We'll close out completely really quick and come back in. The only anxiety I feel, stupidly, is trying to lock my name in. That's like the only anxiety I feel right now. It's like, I know that I know that if I don't get in there right away, one of you guys is going to grab my name. Please don't grab my name. <laughs> it's not going to ruin my time, but I'd like to just be able to have my name. I have time to switch banners. Uh, I thought about switching banners. But uh, the, for some reason, the Horde one, it's not like as visible. The Alliance has like clearer lines and more crisp lines. So people always recognize the Alliance banner. But I feel like when I have the Horde banner up, like people don't recognize it as easily. <laughs> Give the man his name. Let me keep my name. Yeah, I, I'd like to get my name or some, or some version of it. <laughs> Show us the paladin and booty bay blacksmithing for six minutes. He doesn't really have bla blacksmithing. That's just the story that I have in my head for him. We dropped blacksmithing in like level 26. I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever logged that character in to like change his name. I think he still has like a really funky name and he needs a name change. Yeah, here he is. <laughs> Rambles three, this is going to be my name for, for a fresh start. Rambles 3867D1. Yeah, that, there he is. He, he, he has not been logged in yet. So there's that. Alright, we got like four minutes. I haven't, we haven't watched it yet, Gim. I was going to last night, but we just didn't. Maybe tonight. Maybe tonight I'll, I'll check it out. I, I saw some positive things about it on the interwebs. So that plus what you said, um, we're definitely going to watch it. It just didn't happen yet. Duel to the death for my name. <laughs> Great. I don't think it, I don't even think that would clear the name even if I killed somebody. All right. 
time. We have four minutes. We have four minutes and I still don't know how this is gonna work. I'm assuming they have to like, they have to shut down all the servers, right? Or is that not gonna be the case? If they were gonna do a server restart, we should see the timer ticking down. There should be like a timer going. I show I show 202, Amy. Uh, either way, you know, we have not even started yet, but guys, thank you all for being here because we have we have already topped out my highest concurrent viewers. We, we've already exceeded my all-time highest concurrent viewers, which was like 201, <clears throat> which happened a couple months ago. So so I appreciate you guys being here. It's pretty amazing. My, mine is clearly not as accurate. Oh, there we go, 223 now. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys being here. This is awesome. Let's hope that the servers actually, uh, you know, function and we can play a little bit tonight. That would make it even better. That would make it even better. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting anxious now. <laughs> I think my, my palms are sweaty. I just wanna I just wanna get my name. Mihai, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna reply to your email soon. I, I did check out I did check out your email and I and I checked out your work, so we'll we'll be in touch soon about that. Whoo! <laughs> Here we go boys. I'm not in. Guys, this is Blood Cell Buccaneers. Nobody panic. I'm just logged into Blood Cell Buccaneers. I was checking to see if they were going to do rolling restarts on the servers, and it, it doesn't look like... A, I don't see a rolling restart timer, so I don't really know how they're going to do this. Robert, I appreciate that, man. Thanks for saying so. Thanks for being here. We, we have moments. We have probably less than two minutes. I, I need to get back to the uh, to server select here. Ooh. All right. I I'm wondering if I should drink some more of this coffee. I, I had two cups of coffee with dinner, but they were like small cups of coffee at a diner. I'm trying to figure out if I should pace my coffee or if I need to drink it now. All right, let's see. All right. Here we go. I agree. I agree. What happened? <laughs> are, are we in? They came up two minutes early. These sneaky sons of biscuits. Logging in the game server. It doesn't look... Oh, snap. Uh, here we go. I got to do anything. I got to get rambles really quick. I'm remaking this character, okay? I'm not running with this, but I, I had to get my name really quick. I, I think that's fine. Um, Yeah, okay. We're good. Now, now I got to delete it and I got to remake it. <laughs> But that, that should get me the name. <clears throat> Nobody else should be able to take this from me, I don't think, now now that I have it. <clears throat> that could be wrong, but... Uh, let's let's create the real character now and see if that works. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time here. That's why I kind of like pre-made the character. Yep, that's right. Hair color was brown. There we go. I think the skin tone is good. Okay, I think I like it. Maybe that wasn't the face, though. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, what? <laughs> Son of a... You know who you are, and I don't like you, whoever you are. I don't like you. I thought, I thought grabbing it and deleting it and keeping it in my deleted characters would have let it be. But there we go, somebody stole my name. Whoever you are out there, I hope you, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the name. What did I, I no, I actually expected that, that deleting it, uh, I thought that if I created it and deleted it, it would go into my undelete character list, which would hold the name for me. So, uh, Buffalo Bill, did you get it, man? Is that you? Because now it's too late. Because now if you delete it, someone else is just going to grab it, man. Yeah. Okay, let's just get in. I'm not I'm not going to obsess over it. It's absolutely fine. 
But but if that but if that's true, then you did stop me from getting my name because now ago, now I'm not gonna have it. Horde was corrupt. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna. I don't want the add-on. Oh gosh. Um. Yeah. Let's disable that. Let's disable storyline. Let's disable voiceover. And I think we are good. Dante, if you don't have a hardcore tab, you got to close out of your client and come back in. C completely close out. Reload Battle.net. Come back in. Look at this. So many trolls. All of the trolls. I gotta fix a couple things here. Let's fix this. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Good luck tag tagging the mobs. Yeah, exactly. Good luck tagging anything. All right, boys, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Look at everybody run out for the boars. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. There, there's no other video game experience like this. There's no other video game experience like an MMO launch. It's utterly and truly unique. We're probably not going to be able to tag anything. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, look at the spawns. We we'll just ha we got to stand near a dead body and we got we got to wait. We got to camp it out. This is nuts. That guy just spawned in any second now. We just can't we just can't move. We d we just can't move. They're already showing full. That's awesome. There's probably going to be a queue anytime. No! <laughs> we almost tagged something. I, I gotta get a little bit quicker. Oh my gosh. Eventually, like, people will start to kind of filter out a little bit. We're playing on, we're playing on Skull Rock. We, uh, we almost tagged it, but no, not quite. Maybe, maybe this one. Yeah, we first tagged, we tagged it. First mob tagged. First mob tagged in official hardcore. Very nice. Okay. Uh, we need auto loot. Auto loot would be wonderful. Oh god. Oh, they did all oh, this. I hate it. I hate that they changed this. Auto loot. There we go. Okay. Alright, there's boars popping up all around us. We're missing them. This is crazy. I, I can't stop staring at all the people long enough to watch for the boars to respawn. Am I gonna do warrior even if I die or will I go to another class? That's a really good question. In the past I've gone to another class, but for official I don't know. I, I kind of want to be a warrior so we, we might stick it out. It really depends on like how soon we die. You know? Obviously we're never gonna die. Well, let's go with that. I think we got that one. Uh, yeah, we got that one. The new the new options menu. It's it's not it's not as good as the old one just because I don't know where everything's at. Obviously, they have a cool little search feature, so I, I appreciate being able to search. But I, I kind of like navigating it the way that it was. I wasn't happy when they put it into Wrath, and I'm like not happy that they put it into uh, Classic Era. Uh, the boars are very confused, yeah. They don't, they don't know why they can't stay alive longer than a second. They're like, why? Is this, is this life? Is this what life is now? Yes. Yes, little boar. This is your life now. I'm gonna help other people because I just want to swing my weapon at stuff. I wish I could find like a little bit more of a secluded spot. We we seem to have a have a, a gaggle of people hanging out right here. We're on Skull Rock. Yeah. 
and it looks it looks like the majority of uh, of horde players are going to be on Skull Rock, and then we're thinking Alliance is going to be on Defy's Pillager. Oh man, okay, yeah, I kind I kind of probably need to get some distance. Yeah, they, I got I got other warriors around. Let's try to find somewhere where they're either spawning more or there maybe aren't as many people around. This looks like an okay area. If we if we maybe stay right here. There's a, there's a spawn. Maybe, maybe even as far as over here. We, we could stand to be over here. There must be someone that's already died. It could be. If, if someone's died at this point, well, it would be hard because I don't think anything is staying alive long enough to hit anybody enough to kill them. You know what I mean? Because, like, everybody's hitting everything all at once. That guy just got level 2, man. He's he's going. He's going, going. Alex, hey, man. I wasn't sure if you were going to be on tonight. If, if I were you, I, I'd have gone to bed, like, super early, and then I would get up at, like, 4 in the morning. And by then, like, everybody's going to be out of here. It's going to be, like, easy. Easy sailing at that point. Everyone's going to be sleepy. Oh, I can't even tag things over a shaman. This is going to be a, a tough start. I'm assuming he's just like... Yeah, he's just auto-attacking. There we go. He, he was kind. He left us alone. Maybe he could, Maybe he finished his quest. Whitney, good evening. Thanks for stopping by. Alex, you had a little nap? If I'm being totally honest, I, I took a little nap this afternoon myself. So... Alright, yeah, we're gonna have constant competition. Look at all these people. Eventually this will clear out a little bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll do some professions. I think I'm going to do gathering professions, though. I think I'm going to do skinning and mining. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feed Alex and any other blacksmith in the guild. I'm going to feed my ore to, like, other people. And then they can craft. Because I'm not, I'm not good at doing, pro like, production professions. But I can definitely go gather stuff and just put it into the guild bank or give it to somebody to make gear. And then the leather I'm going to sell. Unless, unless we have, like, a guild leather worker. And then I'll donate some to the guild bank. Once that stuff gets going, you know? Alex, you could, yeah. If you just want all my leather. I just don't know, like... Well, well let's, see, let's see how the guild comes together. And let's see how many people we get. And let's see, like, what people's classes are. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I think, I think I'm only gonna gather stuff, I think. The other thing would be, like, the only other production thing I would do would be herbalism alchemy. And I'm not sure if I want... Am I doing solo self found? No, no. We're do we're doing all the grouping, all the auction house, all the mailing, all the guild stuff, all the trading. I'm just I'm just not fast enough for these for these people. These people are much much faster than me at hitting their their, their attack buttons. That's all. And it, they they find me and they're like, this guy is slow and he's old. And then they, and then they stay here. <laughs> they they realize that I'm I'm never gonna get a tag faster than they do, and they just they hang out by me. It it makes perfect sense. They're probably slamming their attack button, which is probably what I should be doing if I actually want to tag stuff. Guild name ideas. Um, 
probably just probably just hardcore ramblers, HC ramblers. I, I don't I don't want it to be like anything super elaborate, and I don't want it to be anything that implies my ownership over the guild. So I don't want it to be like Robert's ramblers or anything like that. So I think just HC ramblers would would be okay if I can get it. I'm sure someone now will steal that guild name and hold it hostage. <laughs> But if if I can get it, then we'll go uh, we'll go HC Ramblers. Hey, level two. Uh, do I want to run back and uh, and do all that stuff? Probably. I, I'd like to finish this this quest though. Only fifty eight more to go. It's obviously the easiest game in existence. Yeah. I figured out the trick now, guys. Yeah. See, he's out of here. He's like, oh, this guy woke up. He woke up. He's he's getting the attacks off now. Yeah, the trick is just to, like, slam T over and over and over again. That's the trick. Alright, let, let's go turn it in. It looks really fun, like, standing AFK and doing nothing. Yeah, it's not quite like that, but sure. The fun of it is how impossible it is to play the game normally right now, because this doesn't last. Phoenix Roberts Rambler sounds like a weird off-brand of Rainer's Raiders from StarCraft 2, except instead of shooting, the Ramblers just bore the enemy to death. Thank you for the $5 super chat, my friend. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> I'll take I'll take it. That's like a, not even a backhanded compliment. It's just like a backhanded backhand. You know what I mean? <laughs> they just bore the enemy to death. At least you use the proper form of bore. I appreciate that. Anybody who's not in, anybody have a queue to get in? Are there, do we know if there are any wait times yet? E even the Torrent area is packed, Alex? That's awesome. I, I think we made the right choice. I think exactly what, what I said was going to happen happened. And all of the Horde went on Skull Rock and all of the Alliance went on Defias Pillagers. I, I like Rambles Roughnecks. It's just too badass for me. I'm not... I'm not, I'm not I'm not hardcore enough to have that such a cool guild name, you know. On EU Stitches server, there's a five minute queue already. Mm. Yep, it's probably gonna get like more and more so. If we thought getting the uh, boars was bad, just wait till we have to stand at a cactus for two hours to get all the cactus apples we need. W wait until that happens. Like, see, cactus, gone. Cactus, gone. <laughs> so the cactus thing, we're probably just going to wait on the cactus for a little bit. I'm going to just try to fight stuff for a little while. <laughs> Phoenix, I appreciate you, man. It's all good. I, I know you had the best intentions, because, like, y you, wouldn't, you wouldn't tip me if your intentions were, like, negative, you know? You would just troll me. So, I appreciate you. Only someone like me could take boring people to death as a compliment, though. <laughs> I, I'm probably one of the people who... I'm probably the only person who could really take that as a compliment. <laughs> I, I do think that's what they technically call a backhanded compliment, though. E e Steven, even if uh, one named ninja deleted it, another named ninja probably grabbed it, you know? And I knew that was gonna happen. I had it, you know, I had it. I should have just played the orc with the funny looking face. <laughs> I, I really thought that uh, deleting it, having it in my deleted character spot would uh, would reserve it for my account. I guess, I, I guess after 20 years, I still don't know how name reservations work. Which is not surprising, considering that it, it's me, you know? John, good afternoon, man. Thanks for being here. When are we signing the charter? Someone pointed out that it costs money to, to get a guild going. It costs like a gold, right? So it'll probably be like around level, well, around level whenever Robert gets a gold, which I don't really know when that's going to happen. Uh, okay, let's come over here. We'll talk to this guy. Yeah, getting the named Scorpion's probably just not going to happen. Benjamin with the $50 super chat. Dude, that is enormous. What are you thinking? 
Good luck with your official hardcore adventures. Here's hoping you avoid any day one drama. Thank you. We may or may not be back. <laughs> we, are we back? Guys, I don't know. That that was the day one drama. My Our power went bleh. It just went bleh. Like, for no reason. We, we have a beautiful muggy day here. There's no wind. There's no storms. There's no bad weather. There, there's no anything bad happening here. But the power decided to take a dump for the long enough for the internet to drop out. You know? We were not in combat. Hey, as a warrior, even if we were in combat, we probably would have cleared it. But yeah. Oh my god. What a nightmare. Rip, rip the stream. Rip highest concurrent viewers. Rip, rip the stream. <laughs> I appreciate you guys being here, those who stuck around. Uh, what, a, what, a, what a day. <laughs> Shoot, man. Yeah, day one drama activated. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, that's, it's no good. Yeah, it was. It's bad. <laughs> hey, maybe maybe this will be the worst thing that happens. I used up the unlock on day one, minute one, hour one. Yeah, no, nah, there's no expl explaining why it happened. I've never, you know, sometimes when it's like really stormy or it's really windy or it's really snowy, we'll have like power issues. Sometimes, you know, the power will flicker a little bit. Typically, it doesn't flicker enough to take out the internet. This this time, it took out the internet. And so uh, it took me a while to get back up. There is storm potential. Okay, but like, but there's no storm right now. What, like the storms, like six counties over took the power out? I don't know. David, no more drama. Thank you so much, man. Oh, God. Oh, what level am I going to be before sleepy time? Uh, at this rate, level four, I think. Probably level, probably level four. At the, at the rate we're going. I, I, assuming like nothing else happens, you know. Amy, it wasn't just the internet. I lost power down here. My my battery backup came came on, and my lights went off, and my pow my power rebooted. It, it wasn't just the internet here. I I lost all power. I don't know. Maybe you guys didn't hear that upstairs, but no, everything went off down here. My battery backup kicked on. The lights went off, and the uh, what happened to the internet was that the router lost power long enough that it had to restart. So no, it wasn't an internet issue. It was a power issue that happened. No, the internet the internet's fine. It, it was a power it was a power issue that happened. We have a, we have shitty infrastructure with our power grid. You know they don't want to like replace stuff or put up new new lines and new poles. So. Whew. This is, hey, but this is fun. This 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 amount of people, the difficulty of tagging things, like, this is all part of it. Somehow, guys, in the restart, my uh, you'll see my auto loot got turned off because that makes sense, right? For it to just turn off my auto loot. Okay. And <laughs> Blizzard killed my power. Yeah, they're like, this guy's at 300 concurrent viewers and we don't know who the hell he is. Send a power spike. Send the power spike. Power spike this a-hole. Put, it, put him in his place. Yeah, it, it was weird. I did, I hit, I hit record viewership for a shining moment in my life. <laughs> and then, then my power took a dump. Yeah, long enough to drop the stream. So, I, I'm sure people are just like, they'd rather go watch Zeryu. He's probably not going to lose power. <laughs> Buffalo Bill, $20 super chat, man. Thank you so much. Here, go pay that electric bill. I, I, I'm told I'm told that it's paid, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't look at the account. <laughs> but I, I've been told that it's paid. I appreciate that, man. That's super generous of you. 
There are corpses? Did I miss a corpse? People are already dead. Unreal. If, if, yeah, I mean, I can now after I just lost connection, I can see how someone might die. If something like that were to happen. It, it was a weird power spike. It's times like that that I'm super grateful that I have the battery back up and stuff. It's like properly surge protected so like my computer doesn't also die. They're testing to see if death is truly permanent. That's that's a good point. They could be. I, I feel like there were yeah, there are a couple of quests that I could grab that I didn't grab. Let, let's go back and we'll uh we'll grab a couple more quests. It looks like people have kind of moved off the boars. That's nice. It, it opens the boars up for some like casual farming. I don't have health bars on, I notice. That was a lot of junk. Okay, who has my other quest? Somebody over here. There should be the Vile Familiars quest and then something else. Probably the, uh... What is, what is going on with Questy? Some, something weird's going on with Questy. I think maybe I just can't... I, maybe I just can't trust Questy right now? Is that what's happening? I'm kind of I'm kind of worried because I, I don't know why I, I, I should have a quest to talk to my class trainer and I don't have a quest to talk to my class trainer which is kind of worrisome I don't I don't know what would cause that I, I think I have to yeah I think I'm going to uh, I, got, I gotta turn off questy questy is gonna be causing me problems here I, I'm turning it off yeah I'm not I'm not gonna run with questy right now it's just gonna cause me to like question things and have problems that I don't need to have but I, I am worried about the fact that I never got a quest to talk to my class trainer. That that doesn't really make sense. So yeah, not sure about that. Uh, I need action bars. I need one, two. I did the class trainer quest and I didn't realize it. Thank you. <laughs> That sounds exactly like me. Yeah, not paying attention, clicking. I was clicking all the things, and I already did it. Okay, that's 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 reassuring. Not so much from like a, my my short term memory standpoint. That's concerning, but it's reassuring that the, the game is working, and that I actually got the quest and did it. Yeah, from like a memory perspective, obviously bad news, right? All I can say is, kids don't do drugs in college or ever. Yep, that's really all I can say. Short-term memory is very valuable to have. It is very on brand, yeah. It gets worse every day. <laughs> Jeez. I have this little thing hanging out down here, this little guy. I need to I need to get rid of that little guy. Let me do that really quick. Exit over wolf. There we go. Hey, Questy was working. I had the memory leak, right? All the technical stuff was fine. I'm kind of fine with taking like the little, the slower approach here and letting people kind of move on out of the area. Uh, maybe I, since I turned off. Questy, I probably ought to track some things manually here. Alright, now everyone's kind of waiting for scorpions. I, I can't wait until we're waiting to slap the peons around. The guild name's probably just going to be HC Ramblers. Hardcore Ramblers. 
something simple, something simple in the uh, on brand that doesn't doesn't like invoke ownership by me. Give them no power here. The power spikers, yeah. Connection lost. Hardcore connection lost. Alright, I mean, the easiest way to find the familiars would be just to go into the cave, because, like, I, I think less people are going to want to be in the cave. Uh, well, level four though. Maybe maybe we're not ready for uh, <laughs> for level four familiars yet. Yeah, let's let's not. I, I you don't need HC in the guild name. Yeah, I know that technically we don't. Yeah, it just like it kind of flows okay though. A HC ramblers, I kind of like it. Otherwise, it'd just be the ramblers, which is also fine. Right now, I'm just kind of fighting everything that I can. Brett, you were able to get Sarkov? Yeah, I'm not looking forward to having to try that. But yeah, spamming T does seem to uh, be very useful. Just standing on the pile and spamming T. Like, we, could probably, we could probably try it here too. John, it seems like what we thought that H Horde characters are going on Skull Rock and then Alliance are going over on Defias Pillager. Hashtag no lines. Yep. Yeah, that's the other thing. We, we could like, we could group up for Sarkoth. You know, we could invite some people nearby. Um, we, we could do that. That's definitely an option. Let, let's go, ch I don't even know if at level three I want to be messing around with Sarkoth yet, honestly. Yeah, this, they, named, they named all this, I think on EU, the Alliance one is Stitches. Uh, I don't know what the Horde one is. But yeah, they named, uh, they named the servers after the things that prominently kill people per faction. And I, I think they did that as a way to guide players to the faction correct server. You know what I mean? Brandon, the $5 super chat. Thank you so much, man. On Defias as a human, and the amount of folks here is insane. That's that's so fun though. It's so great to see people back like playing hardcore again. All oh, the line, the line. We we are in a line for Sarkov. And uh, I'll you know I, I might I don't know if I'm gonna do this line or not. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of anti lines, but I I probably have a better chance. You know the problem is like if I see too many people not in line getting the tag, I'm not gonna stay in this line. I, I want to see what the player behavior is here, because I see these people. They're not in. They're not in line, and they're they're spamming T right now as hard as anybody else is. Yeah, th there's no lines, guys. Nah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the people who are like it's rude not to stand in the line, but like there's no lines here. There's people in line, and then there's like people not in line. I, all, all of us are in the mentality where we're not we're not grouping for some reason. Yeah, it's uh, it's weird. If I invite people to a group, I'm still going to be the one trying to tag it out of line. You know what I mean? Like I can invite some of these people, but they're probably already grouped up. If I take my finger off the T button, it's going to respawn. 
I'm gonna try it once. If, if I don't get it on this first tag, I will try to get a group. And then we'll have like some other kind of mixed success. I I didn't even I didn't see what happened. We we got it. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> not sorry. <laughs> Apparently, I can spam T with the best of them, even at my age. Who knew? Who knew? I, I'm real. I'm a, I'm absolutely shocked, actually. Yeah, I was just slamming T as hard as I could. Yeah, it to bread. It totally worked, man. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a little rude, but I feel, yeah, at, at the point where not everyone is in the line, I'm not going to be the sucker standing in line while the guys are up there just doing what they want, you know what I mean? That doesn't make sense. The T-spammers. It sounds like a, like a piece of drafting equipment or like engineering equipment, the T-spammers. I kind of like it, actually. All right, so we, we still need scorpions. Scorpions seem like they might be harder to get. They're not as numerous as the boars. It's kind of harder to tell where their piles are at. We got lots of people per pile. We, we need a pile with less people. <laughs> I, I love it. I love just seeing the people camped out around the piles. Oh, man. I feel like wherever I go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have to force somebody out. It's like we're vying for real estate. I have, I have to force somebody out of their area by spamming T as fast as I can. And so it begins. Six is you, f you found not Rambles and Rambles Jr. <laughs> awesome. Excellent. Is that Scorpion chasing somebody? Ah, uh, we, we shouldn't have chased him. We, we should have stayed with our pile. I was hoping we'd be able to get him as he ran back. If, if you die, it's over. That's hardcore. Yeah, essentially. Uh, also, Activision Blizzard drains your bank account as well. So, like, be wary of that. Yeah, not only do you lose your character, they, they drain whatever bank account you have paying your sub. Maybe this is not a pile. Maybe maybe where we're at here is not a pile. We're standing we're standing on not a pile when we need to be in a pile. What has happened so far, Johnny? It's been an amazing time. I, I had a power spike here that took my internet out for a couple minutes. Yeah, like right away that happened. It, we we were at the highest number of viewers we've ever been at on the channel, and then my power went out for a minute for no reason. There's not a storm. There's no wind. Uh, there's no rain. There's no snow. Just a power split. Uh, up upstairs, like they didn't know the power went out. It was so subtle; it only took me out, and the and the internet, because the router's down here. The only other rules besides death is death is that uh, you have a 24-hour lockout on dungeons, so you can only do a dungeon once every 24 hours. That's really the only other rule. As far as that goes. Um, we could turn in cactus apples. We could go after vile familiars. We're climbing back, Tactical. We're climbing back. Thank you guys all for being here. This has been really amazing. Despite crazy power issues, like, notwithstanding. 
we're hoping that was all the craziness that I'm gonna have. All the day one drama has already happened, I hope. And we can just have a chill time this evening. Standing on piles and spamming our T buttons. As one does. Obviously. It's like, can I, can I just group up with some people? No? <laughs> I thought there was like a... Wasn't there like an ask to join group option? Why can't I ask to join their group? Or is that only in Wrath of the Lich? Maybe I'm making it up, but like, yeah, can't we ask to join group? If I, if I right click... I, I kind of expected like an ask to join group option. Because here's the group leader. Yeah. It would be easier if I could ask people, it's retail. Is it retail? Because I don't play a lot of retail, so it'd be weird for that to be my... I would not have had that experience, I don't think. Are we sure that's not in Wrath of the Lich King? I mean, it could be retail. It's Wrath. I was on mute for a minute, David, but I caught it. <laughs> I was definitely muted for a minute. Yeah, I need that functionality, because otherwise, like, everyone's already grouped up. You know, then I gotta, like, manually beg people to invite me. Which I don't, which I don't, I'm not really into, like, manually asking people to invite me. I, I like to, I like to have the non-social experience of just clicking on somebody, then clicking another thing. Maybe if I stand in his pile long enough, he'll invite me, you know? Probably not. Hasn't happened yet. Because I'll j I can just do this and I can just tag other people's stuff. Or, or they could invite me to their group and we could all get credit for it, you know? At this point, it's up to them. Oh, they got that one. It, it would be easier to do the, the kill quest portion here uh, with a group of people. Bots? You think bots already? Uh, what, what percentage of these people are bots? <laughs> not, it's like, that's not a bad question. Guild charter is only 10 silvers. Oh, okay, somebody said it was like a gold. And I, and I, I don't know, I've never created a charter and had it signed. I don't even know where the guild person is in Orgrimmar. Although I'm sure I could just ask a guard. Okay, well that, that means we can do it soon. You think about 30% of these people are bots? It, it could be. It could be some egregious number like that. What if the group is full? Yeah, the group could be full, absolutely. I only see a couple, but you're right, they could split off into different areas, like nearby. That's a good point. Could be just a full group situation, they can't invite me. I feel like they should just make room for me, you know? But I get it. Text, good afternoon, good evening to you. Thanks for being here. I, I could ask in like general chat, like just ask for someone to invite me to a group. <laughs> it's kind of cringe, but... See, see, that was not a bot, because if that was a bot, he would not have ran off just now. I don't think he would have. He'd been there for so long, you know. Our, our spamming of the T button got him to run away.
This seems like an okay spot. People are kind of leaving me alone here for the moment. Brad, thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate you being here. Have a good rest of your night. Oh yeah, this is this is the perfect pile. It's the perfect pile. Go, that'll help out with the inventory. Yeah, no bags yet. But to be fair, like we we haven't actually fought a lot of stuff, you know. We haven't fought a lot of stuff yet. Luke, I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here and hanging out with the stream. Alright, this will be the last one. Uh, we'll go we'll go turn these two in. We'll have to work on the scorpion worker tails. Uh, but maybe people will kind of be out of that area a little bit. Alright, let's head back. I'm, I'm gonna have a, a scorched earth policy for any like potential trolling or any, anybody brings up a topic that's like seems designed to get me agitated <laughs> I, I'm gonna have a scorched earth policy tonight because I, I just want to have a good time and relax so yeah that's what's gonna happen getting tails sucks yeah yeah the getting the tails is, is gonna be harder you know because they're not 100% drop rate either so even if we tag a scorpion it doesn't mean that we're gonna get a tail A ban hammer, yeah. A, a wildly swinging ban hammer, yeah. And sometimes when you swing a, a ban hammer so recklessly, sometimes innocents get taken out too, but sometimes there just has to be collateral damage. No one mentioned iced coffee. <laughs> iced coffee's fine. Ryan, I didn't have a queue, thankfully. I think that I think there might be a small queue now, but we actually got in right away. So thankfully, no no queue for us. Uh, I'll take the main hand axe.
Yeah, I, I kind of expected there to be a queue almost right away. And there might be, somebody said there was a five minute queue over uh, on, on one of the EU servers. So there could be, there could be a queue now. I, I'm not gonna log out to find out. Uh, I'm gonna keep the one-hander. Uh, you know what, let's just sell it. We'll, we'll get another one later. Uh, the boots we can sell. Okay. And we could train our level four abilities. Charge and rend. John, you're you're on Skull Rock and the Night Elf area is packed, so there there are Alliance players here? That's actually kind of surprising. Um let's go with this. There we go. Oh, uh, here we go. This is gonna be the fun one. The peon quest, right? Yeah. Lazy peons. Uh, unfortunately, we have to do this to get his follow-up, and the follow-up is to go into the cave. I, I wonder if I can, like, tr just trust Questy to work a little bit now. Now that I know the problem was with me and not with Questy, maybe it'll actually be fine. Not that we really need it, but... It helps a little bit, especially when, like, finding, finding some of the out-of-the-way peons it could help with. Look at this, yeah, pe people are camping the peons. I'm not- I'm not gonna camp the peons. I, I would rather grind on enemies that are alive than try to camp the peons, so... yeah. That's gonna be a tough one. Hey, may maybe the servers will be pretty evenly split, I don't know. We'll- we'll, we'll probably have to wait a day or so to have some numbers on, like, percentage of faction. One minute queue on Defias, no queue for Skull Rock. Right on. I guess we, we must be on the dead server. <laughs> dead server is dead. I, I think the only way duels to the death or anything is if it's for content because I, I can't imagine just a player playing alone by themselves in a vacuum like wanting to get to level 19 just so they can get killed in a duel. I, I feel like the only reason it could be a thing and the only way that it works is if people are literally doing it for content. At least I hope so. These, these people are lining up for peons, guys. They're lining up. Or maybe they're in a group. I hope they're in a group. I hope they're not lining up for the peons. That would be a little ridiculous. Katis, you'd rather be where the streamers are not? Well, I, I just want to be where people are at. And if streamers bring more people to the server, then I'm all about more people. Especially on hardcore. Like, obviously it makes the beginning part of the journey, like, a little bit more challenging, but that's okay. Best looking horde mount in classic. Like none of them look that good, but uh, probably the the wolf that the orcs ride on would be my my favorite one on the horde side. The raptors are okay. I find I find their movement kind of choppy, like kind of the same way that the chocobos, the uh, the blood elf mounts, like they're kind of quick and choppy. Like I don't, I just don't really like the movement of the raptors. I could be using charge. That would be uh, super good. I feel like the wolf is just a little bit more fluid, whereas the kodo looks like it's moving through molasses. Yeah. 
It, the, the raptors are almost too bouncy. Yeah, it's like a motion thing. And I feel like the wolves have a little bit of like a more of a normal fluidity to them, the way like a horse mount would. Yeah, see, people are starting to clear out a little bit. We've been able to like organically tag a few mobs without having to like corpse camp them, but obviously corpse camping is probably still going to be the best thing. Did I get a cutscene when logging into Classic today? No, but sometimes when they do like a big update, it just plays like the opening cutscene for like the game. Like if they, if they do a big update and then you log in for the first time, it'll play like the opening cinematic. I, I've had that happen before. It didn't happen today or yesterday, but I've, I've had that happen before. Or or if you had the game uninstalled and you just in reinstalled it today, that it'll do that too if you've, if you've uninstalled and reinstalled the game. Then it will play the cutscene for you. How, how is the music today? Is the music uh, at an appropriate volume? Not too loud, not too quiet? Usually I ask a lot sooner, but I've been a little bit distracted. What quest interface is it? Um, I, you might be talking about immersion that changes the quest boxes. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're on Skull Rock. I need to remove the Alliance banner. Yeah, I probably could have. The The Alliance banner is more crisp and more easily recognizable, I feel like.
Are people still using the hardcore add-on? I'm sure some of them are using it for like challenges and stuff like that. Jason, we'll see you later, man. The broadcast work within guilds, so if you're in a guild, you can turn on guild alerts, and that way whenever somebody in your guild dies, you'll see it. They said they don't plan to have anything like uh, server-wide or anything like that. If it was server-wide, you'd probably just be getting alerts non-stop, you know? Drillman, I appreciate you being here and hanging out with us on YouTube. Thank you so much. We could try to run around and look for peons, but uh, the peons seem like like a lot of people were camping them. I want to see how long it takes for him to, like, actually conk out. Not too long. I mean, it didn't take too long. Should we, should we hang out with him a little bit more and just see if maybe we can farm this guy for the five we need? Oh, the mob spawns are already out of control. Yeah, you're if you go into a cave and there's not a bunch of other people around, you're probably going to get trapped inside. But the cool thing is, like, right now, while the mob spawns are out of control, there's lots of people playing, so... Yeah, I think the best bet would be to probably camp this guy. And, and then another person comes up and they're like, Oh, yeah, you got this guy camped? I guess I'll just come here and I'll do the same thing on the same guy. <laughs> He got him. <laughs> uh, jerk! <clears throat> More micromanaging him. Yeah, he's he's got a rough life. Absolutely. This right here, this is obviously like the most exciting part of the stream. I I don't know if I'm gonna have the patience to uh, stick with this guy, but I'm I'm gonna try. It'll help if I can fight a little bit. Now that I know his little route, like I, I know the I know about the time he's gonna he's gonna walk over to the corner before he goes. 
So I, I'm gonna try to fight some stuff to kind of keep the kill experience coming in uh, while we hang out with this guy a little bit. Uh, I'll keep an eye on him. The respawn rate must be slowing down a little bit, otherwise all these guys would be back up. Lisa, good evening. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing well. All right, one more time. I know it's super exciting. One more, one more time, and then we'll be done with this one. Then we get to go into the cave, and I, I know everyone's really excited to go into the cave. You would think after 20 years the tree would be cut down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a thick tree. They're, they're just taking little chunks out of it, I guess. We are done with that. So now we'll get the uh, the other quest for the pick, and then we're heading back into the cave. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do Mulgore. At first, I thought I would, but I, I think I'm gonna do uh, I think I'm gonna do Tears Fall, just because it's a little bit easier to travel. Uh, Mulgore is a little bit of a run, and well, it's not like a super dangerous run, but there are parts of it that could be. So I, I might just do Tears Fall, and I, I might save Mulgore for a future Torin character, maybe someday down the road. We'll, we'll do some stuff out of Senjin first, and then we'll have to head up to Razor Hill. Y you kind of do a little bit of, like, back and forth. Uh, I need a vendor.
Yeah, you can get the four slot bag. That's for like the linen scraps that you get off the humans. We will definitely be doing that one. How many player bodies will we find in here? Actually, are the bodies persisting? I, I guess maybe they wouldn't. I kind of forget where the pick is at. I guess the one down here is the pick, right? Oh, here it is. Perfect. KK, hello. Good evening. the highest level I've ever gotten to in a hardcore one. Uh, level 47 on the Paladin before I retired him. He never he never died. He just got he got too tedious to play on a solo self-found type of deal because we could never get any weapons. So I retired him at 47. Uh yeah, I don't know. I, I guess the guy spawns up there primarily. <laughs> um well that's that's gonna be exciting. We will uh we'll go try to fight him for a little bit. Some of these like name guys like we can't get them, that's okay. We'll just have to grind a little bit more. That's a dead end, Robert. Dead end. Nah, he was a ret, Pally. At one point, we found him an awesome blue shield, and I thought, like, now, now we're gonna go prot. We just have to get a one-hander to drop, and no one-hander ever dropped. Uh, we never got a good one-hand uh, quest reward, so we were just ret. We were ret all the way, which was like, you know, it's like it's like F tier DPS. Potentially worse DPS in classic era. Oh, my God. 
It's rambles, but it's a, I had to grab a special character above the E because uh, somebody got my name. I got my name right away, and I, I but it was with a character appearance I didn't want, and I thought like I thought getting the name and then deleting the character would like keep the name for my account. So by the time I created the character that I wanted to look at for 200 hours, someone had taken my actual name, which I guess like shouldn't be a big surprise, but it was kind of a bummer anyway. We'll, we'll try this for a bit, and uh, and if not, we'll just move on. We'll do some grinding to make up for the experience that we're going to lose. I haven't seen him come back up yet. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna wait for long because he's just, uh, he's not coming up. We, needless to say, like, we, we didn't get him. <laughs> we, we didn't get him. <laughs> shocking, I know. Absolutely shocking. Let's, let's get out of here. This is, uh, it's just a little bit too much of a, uh, cluster for me. We could try to get a group, but, uh, I'm not particularly worried about it. Uh, what we'll do instead is we'll probably just do a little bit of extra grinding than we would normally do. Maybe, maybe I come back for it tomorrow morning or something. Let's go vendor. They, they just need to make the, the named guys should respawn every 10 seconds. It, it's a really easy fix. They just need to make the named guys respawn every 10 seconds. The named guy dies, 10 seconds later he spawns back up. The named guy dies, 10 seconds later he spawns back up. It's like, it's super easy. They, they could fix it instantly. You know, but uh, but they won't. We look like penguins all huddled together. Yeah, that's that is true. The Torrent Zone is better. Yeah, there's a named guy. There is one named guy. You got. You got to go after the Razor Fen guy.
let's go down to Senjin Village first, and we'll just try to fight some stuff on the way. Although, you know what? You know what I ought to do if I want to be like actually efficient. I, I should probably go to Ogremar. We should probably learn skinning and mining. If we if we want to do that, we should probably do it now. That way, we're not uh, fighting stuff that we can't skin too much, etc. But I, I am going to try to fight some stuff on the way here. <laughs> Toasted, it, it, is, it is a tough grind, man. Yeah, but it's fun. So it's very fun. Level 40 for the mount? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather it be like super busy and not be able to get tags than have it be totally dead. So, I'm fine with it. Level 7? Uh, level 7 is probably not a great idea to fight a level 7. I have to remember to save the meat too so we can do cooking. <laughs> a buffalo bill, I, I did get a, a flashback of the, of the crab killing the night elf. It's funny, a couple people said that I obviously got that character killed on purpose, and I'm like, no, I'm just that inattentive sometimes. What I what I paid attention to, it was a level 17 quest, so like I was just talking and thinking, and I wasn't looking at the level of the enemy. But I definitely didn't get the character killed on purpose. Now, was I having an awesome time on the Hunter? No, not really. I was kind of bored, you know? And that, that contributed to me not paying as much attention as I should, sure, but I, I didn't get her killed on purpose. I've never, ever gotten a character killed on purpose. Uh, nor would I. I. I kill them enough just by actually trying to play to the best of my ability. The Scorpion Eyes Vendor for a silver each. Okay, I, I need 10 of those to get the guild charter going. I'm going to leave the level 7 alone. Nice. Fortitude is huge at this level. It's awesome. Small pouches for 10 gold each on the auction house. I, I knew people would try to do this. I talked about this the other day. That I was worried that the auction house prices would be like way, way too high at first. Because people know the value of the items. Uh, like on hardcore, an item is, any item is very valuable. And I was worried they were going to try to price gouge. But what happens though is like no one has that money yet. Uh, even bots don't have the money to sell yet. And so no one's going to be able to pay 10 gold yet. You know, in, in a couple of weeks you could charge 10 gold and you, you might get away with it, but not right now.
Oh, I'm gonna use the auction house for everything I can get my hands on. Yeah, I, I just like, I, I like interacting with the economy in the game. I like being a part of the economy. I like trying to make gold. I like being able to buy items because it's an MMO. So yeah, I, I, I like that part of the game a lot. After so much solo self found, I'm really excited to be able to take a look at the auction house and at least look at it, at least interact with it from like a window shopper perspective, you know? Yeah, we'll get we'll get some bags soon. I, I want to get my professions first. I, I want to get uh, first aid, cooking, fishing. And we're, I think we're going to do skinning and mining. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, the bags are 5 silver for a 6 slot and 25 silver for an 8 slot. Never never buy an 8 slot. It's it's not worth the markup. I'm going to pick up all the quests here even though like we're not really going to work on this stuff right now. I'm going to grab them all just so we have them. One of them is for raptor eggs that we do down in Senjin, actually. That's the humans. I'm gonna hold off on actually buying the fishing rod until I'm actually ready to do that stuff so we don't have it filling up the inventory. And we'll bind our hearthstone here in Razor Hill. <laughs> yeah, Red Robin. I, the, the stupid story is like, I got my name right away, okay? I, I got right in, I, I went to Female Orc, didn't care what it looked like, got my name, got the character created. And then I deleted it so I could make the character that I wanted to stare at for 200 hours. And I had some stupid idea that since I had made the name on my account and then deleted it, that it would be sitting in my deleted characters bin. And that that would keep the name for my account to use. But it, it didn't. As soon as I deleted it, Somebody grabbed it. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's it's fine. Yeah, I was I was a little bummed just because I was so happy to get it at first. I just had a misunderstanding of how uh how it worked, you know. Twenty years later I still don't know how like name saving works. Go figure. It's like, why do some people like griefing? It's like, it's just like people, people, people get their jollies in different ways. Like, you know, some things amuse people. Some, some things just amuse people. It, ha it happened on Maladath as well. Like on the, on the, on the false start, I mean, fresh start server of Maladath. Uh, somebody grabbed my name. A at least they didn't grab my name and every single special character version of my name that I've ever used. I was I was worried about that too. I thought like not only will someone try to grab my name, they're probably gonna try. Now that people have seen the, the special characters that I use, people are gonna try to do that too. So at least that didn't happen. I got I got some variant of my name.
Uh, level 8? Yeah, we're not gonna fight any of the stuff up here. It's all level 8, level 9. I remember that. Yeah, we haven't gotten any bags yet. Kind of a bummer. A little bit of a bummer. Maybe that just means we'll get some awesome green weapon drops pretty soon. Not alchemy. No, I, I think I'm just gonna gather stuff, and, and that way I can feed some of my ore to like Alex or to other guild blacksmiths, and that can help them level their blacksmithing and potentially get me some good gear as well. Yeah, we otherwise, you know, alchemy herbalism is good, but I think I'd rather just skin and mine, and then I could put some into the guild bank. I can sell some on the auction house. Yeah, I, I want to be able to make some money. Anyone know how long the queue is? That's a good question. Uh, I, I, we've only seen like reports of like five minute queues so far. So far as I know, the queue times have not been egregious. <laughs> Don't wait a week or two. Now, if you're worried about queue times, man, you probably would only have to worry about just not getting in today. It's, yeah, I, I don't think you have to be overly concerned about long queues. I, I think the technology is, is in place that, you know, the queue times are going to probably be minimal. In the EU, Stitches server has uh, 10 level, has two level 10s. Seven level 9s. Yeah, yeah, I believe it. I mean, we're, we're level 5. We've been going slow as molasses. So I, I believe it. Especially if people are grouped up and they're getting all the objectives done really, really quick. Oh yeah, there, there's a layer. I mean, there's layering, but also in, in the cities, like, no one's gonna be in the cities. But I'm sure there is layering going on. I'm just fishing. Um, okay, this- I need this too. These are not the ones that I need. Um, yeah, Rainbow Fin Albacore, that's that's not the starting recipe. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, we, we need the actual starting recipe for the fish, like the, the bright fish or whatever they are. That's the one we need first. Yeah, I, I, I think that the, the, the named guys should spawn every 10 seconds. Yeah, Red Robin, I agree. It's like a big missed opportunity. All the other stuff that they changed and tweaked, you know, why not change that? Why not make that a big quality of life thing? Yeah, just make it so the named guys respawn every 10 seconds. It's easy. Um, looking for mining. I don't see mining. I can't see a lot because I, I tracked the repair stuff. Let's turn off repairs. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I, I apparently, I just have no idea where the mining trainer is in Orgrimmar. So there's that, and like for once, like Questy is not, is not helping me. Blacksmith, I don't, maybe I tracked the wrong thing. 
Yeah, I track. I that's my fault. I tracked the wrong thing because I'm an idiot. There we go. That'll probably be more helpful. Yeah, he's over here. They, if Alex, if they did decrease it, they didn't decrease it enough. I just want it to be instant. I, w I want the name guy to die, and then a second later, I want him to pop back up. Because that, that's not gonna. That, that probably won't get anybody killed. And it's what happens with normal enemies anyway. Normal enemies get get to a point where they have hyper spawns. All right, then we need a pick. We need. Oh, we need a skinning knife as well. It'd be really smart to uh, to pick up a skinning knife while we're here. Uh, or, although we can get that at any trade goods guy. We, we need to get all the way back to the Valley of Spirits. Is there a uh, first aid trainer in Razor Hill? Do I really have to... Uh, yeah, I don't have to run back there. There's first aid in Razor Hill. We'll, we'll, we'll do it in Razor Hill. I don't want to run all the way back to the Valley of Spirits if I don't have to. I want I want to get back. There was mining there too. Was there was there skinning or did, did I come here for no reason? <laughs> I, I think I had to come here to get to get skinning anyway, so yeah, it's fine. Yep, I want to I want to get out here. I want I want to get back into things. I at least want to be fighting stuff. Am I having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I'm really happy to be able to be here, and I, I appreciate you guys all showing up and hanging out. It's been a good time. I'm sure there have been at least some death uh, so far. You know, people are getting up to like level five, six, seven. They're they're going into caves, and, and we know how that goes. So I, I'm positive that like some people somewhere have died. If you're in a guild, then you've had three people die already in the guild. Yeah. It, it happens early and often. Some people were like, oh, because you can group up now, people are never going to die. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's not how the game works. Alex, you have stuff going on tomorrow. Yeah, it, it'll be here though. You know, you'll, you'll find lots of time to play, I'm sure, eventually. It really sucks for you guys that it launches at midnight in the EU. It's like, it's it's kind of incredible. <laughs> it, it's kind of incredible to say that a, that a launch is going to happen on the 24th when for like half the people playing, it doesn't happen on the 24th, it happens on the 25th. I, I think that was kind of like, that was kind of garbage on, on Blizzard's part. The launch should have happened at like, you know, noon here, and then for you guys it could have been like just evening time, it could have been like after work time. Would have been a lot better than just saying, oh yeah, your servers are, you're gonna come on at midnight your time. Oh good, that's really helpful. Mm -hmm.
Did I check the EU Blizzard news? No, they they never said the 25th for anybody. All they all they ever said they they said the fact. The fact is they only and they only said the fact. They said 24th 3 p.m. PDT, which just happens to be the 25th somewhere else. So yeah, they they never said like you know, they never lied blatantly, but they kind of misled. Cuz remember when they when they first said the 24th, they didn't give us a time. So when they said the 24th a few weeks back, they just said the 24th. They didn't give us times or anything like that. They they only gave us times very recently. So yeah, it went from being the 24th for everybody, which everyone thought, oh yeah, the 24th to being the 25th for some people. But but technically they never lied. They just they just made a bad choice, that's all. It, it was a bad choice to like to launch it so late. They should have they should have got it out earlier in the day. The name of the guild, it might be the Hardcore Ramblers, HC Ramblers, something something simple. That, that doesn't imply my ownership over it. Uh, so, first aid, first aid, yep. Okay, and now we are broke. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, if I were in the EU, I would have went to bed at 9 p.m. And then I would have got up at 4 a.m. to play. <laughs> because that's when everybody's going to be falling off. You know, they're all going to be like going to bed by then. Even people who tried to like try hard and stay up. Yep, I, I would have gone to bed super early. And then I would have woke up super early. Oh, I forgot the knife. Thanks for catching me early. Appreciate it. Skinning knife. Thanks, guys. Oh yeah, you took your nap at about 9. See, I, I'd, have, I'd have taken like a handful of melatonin and just conked out. <laughs> Until the wee hours, you know? And then I would have got up and played. It sucks though, it, it sucks to like, it's hard to like sit out of a launch, you know what I mean? It's like, it's really hard to sit out of a launch. And just tell yourself, oh, I'll play tomorrow. It's like, for a WoW player, for like an MMO player, it's really, really hard to be okay with sitting out for a launch. Rico, good evening to you. Thanks for being here. The four, yeah, there I am again. Being a four-year-old with ADHD who has to urinate. No, I, I'm, the reality is, like, as the evening goes on, I, I will get more and more tired. Because I, I am not a late stayer-upper. So at my age, like, 9 o'clock will be late. If I make it to 9 p.m. my time and I'm still playing coherently, I will be very surprised. Right now I'm only at 7.45 my time. <laughs> and it, it's still I still feel a little sleepy. I like when people leave their uh, their dead animals on the ground. I, I didn't grab cooking. That's okay. It, I probably won't really work on professions till tomorrow anyway. Mike, I appreciate that, man. Thanks for being here. The limit for guild members? I, I will I will never re reach a limit for my guild. I, the limit for a guild is like, what, like 400 people? <laughs> it's a very high limit, I think, for a guild. I, I don't think it's something that we'll have to worry about.
we are on the Skull Rock server. A and yeah, like anybody who wants to join the guild, once it's formed, you, you can join the guild. Absolutely. As long as you're like a relatively level-headed person <laughs> and there's no drama, yeah, absolutely. Anybody can join. One thousand is the cap for a guild. Yeah, I, I think we're good. I think we're gonna be fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get in under the cap somehow. You notice the lights dim, Amy? I, I noticed that too. It's really cool, isn't it? That we were having no inclement weather, but we're having power issues. Isn't that really cool? Like, we should probably call DTE and just... I know we've had them out here before and they've said the line was fine, the line is fine. I will tell you that, like, if the power flickers in a light breeze, the line isn't fine. I know they did all the infrastructure work and they said it was better, but if, if, if the power flickers on a normal day in the summer, like, I guess it could be that it was super hot today. It was like one of our hottest days of the year. So maybe it could just be like overall load on, on the local system. But I would say like, I don't, you probably got more important shit going on. But if you wanted to call DT just to tell them, maybe they would know. Maybe they'll be like, oh yeah, we're having issues in the area because of consumption. Like, maybe there's a reason for it, but uh, it's not great. Yeah, AC's running at full blast. Yeah, it's not it's not good. We lost power at the beginning of the stream, nearabouts. And uh and it took it it went out long enough to take the router down, which the router takes a few minutes to come back up, which was uh super annoying. We we were able to get back in and restart the stream, but yeah. It, it's it's the hottest day that we've had here. And it's it's gonna be like one of the last hot days. Like after this, we're gonna have normal Michigan August temperatures, like 75, 78 degrees Fahrenheit for highs. I'm looking forward to that. We just have to get through today. I feel like maybe the lines are melted. We we it's southeastern Michigan. We have we have really crappy infrastructure. So I'm gonna grab all these. We're obviously not gonna do them all right now, but we'll grab them. Matthias, good evening, man. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, we're lucky. I mean, to be fair, Michigan, we, we don't usually stay this hot into August. Usually by this time in August, we, we've already cooled off. And so for it to be like in the 90s today, was it's kind of crazy. It was definitely a record for today. But looking at looking at the forecast, we're going we're gonna to level out. We just have to survive this day. Static display, you broke your 45 day streak of 100 plus degrees. Jesus. I don't know how, what kind of mental or physical condition I would be in if I had to tolerate a 45 day streak of 100 degree temperatures. The, I mean, we lived in Missouri for a long time. And, you know, you, you'd have like a, a 50 day streak of 90s, like for sure. Like, as soon as the middle of June rolled around, you knew it was going to be 90 degrees every day until September. Like, okay. But it wasn't hundreds, it was 90s, and that was almost intolerable for me. 
It, it was some of the most miserable I've ever been physically in my life, was knowing that like once June 15th hit, it was going to be 90 or hotter for the rest of the summer. I, I don't tolerate heat very well. It, it basically stops me from wanting to live life. <laughs> Daniel with the $5 super chat. Been watching for a few months. It's finally official. Best of luck. Stay patient. Stay alive. Cheers for the nostalgia trip and the chill streams. Thank you, man. Thanks for being here. I appreciate that. It's very generous of you. Did I get a tune to 60 on Blood Sale? I got a tune to 47. And then that paladin became so tedious that I, I had to retire him. Yeah, he he was gonna live forever, but he he couldn't kill anything. He could he couldn't kill anything. He couldn't kill green enemies. He couldn't kill yellow enemies. He could he couldn't do it anymore. He gave up. He got tired. Well, that's level six. Uh, we're nowhere near a trainer really, and I don't I don't want to stop to go. Oh, I can't believe I did not get that tag. I don't want to stop to go back to the trainer right this minute. We'll we'll do a couple of these quests down here first. If we can, we're, we're probably bottlenecking here on some of these. Amy, you called them to let them know. Thank you, I appreciate that. It, it, it could just be, uh, <clears throat> it could just be the heat, you know, but it's just like, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right for the power to be flickering in and out like that on a day when like there's no weather happening. The worst thing about our heat when it gets really hot is that we have like really really high humidity and I know that like some places in the country when it's like when it's a hundred degrees it's like okay and it's fine people can be okay with it because like you don't have the humidity but here when it when it gets above 85 and the humidity is high you you basically can't breathe the air it feels like you're trying to breathe soup and like I, I have asthma so it's like it's not really great to go outside and feel like you're trying to breathe a liquid Oh yeah, Ohio, you have the same exact like humidity we have here. It's terrible. It's really bad here because we're, we're surrounded by water, so like the humidity is uh, is incredibly high all the time. It's basically never hot without a million percent humidity. At any time it gets hotter than 75 degrees Fahrenheit, you're going to have to deal with humidity. And it's going to make it feel so much hotter than it actually is. I, I would feel a lot better if we had like a potion. You know what I mean? If we just had a potion in our pocket, <laughs> a key bound to something I could hit quickly. I, I, I want to find some potions pretty soon. I, I don't like getting down to half HP. Ryan, you've got asthma too? Yeah, it, it sucks, doesn't it? Like, mine's usually not bad, but when it gets like this, it gets bad. Like, part of the year I can basically live a life where I don't have to worry much about it, and then it gets hot. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I have problems. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we, we haven't had any really good drops yet. We haven't had any bags, we haven't had any greens yet. It'll probably change, I hope.
summer will be over soon enough. Yeah, it, it, it's going to, you know, I can't complain too much because it's going to end for me here sooner than for most of you guys. We're going to have like 70 degree temperatures for highs, like starting probably next week, it looks like. This was the, they had to give us like one more really intolerable day to survive before we get to that point. Today was that day. Yeah, I, I, I don't complain a lot about the cold. I, I'm, I'm pretty tolerant of the cold. It, it, it takes a lot for me to complain about how cold it is. You, you probably, there, you probably won't see a lot of me like complaining about how cold it is. What, what gets to me more than the cold in Michigan is when, when you don't see the sun for like two months straight in winter. Sometimes it gets to a point where like not only is it really cold, which would be fine, uh, but you also just don't, you don't see the sun. It doesn't come out. So like if it were if it were frigidly cold, but like twice a week I got to see the sun, then I wouldn't I wouldn't feel bad. But yeah, I get I get uh, it gets to me a little bit in the winter when it's gray all the time. Be sad, dog. There's death alerts within your guild. So if you're in a guild, you can turn death alerts on. But they said they weren't going to have anything cross-server. If you had cross-server death alerts on, you you would probably be getting pinged all the time. It, it probably wouldn't be like a very enjoyable player experience. So right, right now, it's guild only once you're in a guild. I, I missed a boar? I didn't even see it. Someone's probably gonna get it before I circle back. That was for solo self-found. JRP, you're talking about how I would not do a, uh, a melee class? That was solo self-found. That was why I retired the Paladin. Because in, in solo self-found, yeah, relying on a weapon drop you're, that you're never going to get is, is, is not going to happen, you know. But in a world where I can use the Auction House, and where I can do a dungeon more than once, and where I can trade with other players, then I'm, I'm absolutely going to do this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, on solo cell phone, I, I, my thought process was it's much easier to rely on a character that's going to get most of its damage from spell ranks. Uh, so that, you know, when you get into the level 40s and there's no one else around and you're never getting random drops, you don't have to be worried about your, your crappy weapon. 
but in Blizzard Official Hardcore, we got we got a lot of ways to get weapons, so it's not it's not an issue. All right, so we have all of the mucus. We need the Makura eyes, or however you would pronounce that, Makura. The creepy upright guys. That's what we're looking for now. Unfortunately, the game has never spawned a lot of them in. So, it might be a minute. Be aware it's going well. What am I rambling about today? Same, same stuff, man. Same stuff. Uh, whew. Let's see. Yeah, I, I need to eventually get another bag. We did spend quite a bit of silver learning professions. I also, I want to be fighting stuff. Not just swimming around. Yeah, so far it's been a blast. I have been having a lot of fun. It's nice to see tons of people playing again. After kind of having to watch Blood Cell Buccaneers slowly die. We could go out to the islands and we could look for the cats we need. It's level 8 though, so maybe that's not really a good idea. Mario, thanks for being here and hanging out for a while, man. I appreciate that. Have a good rest of your day. The tiger's eye? Yeah, I definitely need to put that on the auction house, for sure. This guy's a fisherman. He doesn't sell any, like, fish recipes, does he? No, he does not. Basically, the only real rules you gotta worry about on official hardcore is that when you die, the server does not let you res. You can hang out as a ghost, or Blizzard are giving you the option to send your character to a non-hardcore server, so you can transfer him off if you want to continue the journey. Other than that, the only other like super impactful rule from like a regular version of the game is that dungeons have a 24-hour lockout. So you can do dungeons multiple times, but you can only do a dungeon a specific dungeon once every 24 hours, similar to how heroics have lockouts uh, in retail. There are some other tweaks they've made to prevent people from being boosted through content by higher level players and stuff like that. There are like tweaks they made to how like mob behavior, but uh, as far as rules, like the the only thing is like you die, you don't get the res. It's a it's a lot simpler than the uh, than using the add-on. There were a bunch of rules with the add-on. Yeah, you, you have to re-roll. Yeah, you, you either start again, start a new character, or you can transfer that character off to a different realm and you can continue your journey as a non-hardcore character. But yeah, it's like death is, death is delete, except you don't have to delete. But de death is death. You die one time and that character's journey is over.
Yep, you can use the auction house, you can group up with other players, you can trade, you can use the mailbox. Yeah, none of the arbitrary rules that were in for solo cell found exist here. Uh, the rules about the auction house and trading and stuff, those were solo cell found rules. But this is not solo cell found. This is Blizzard's interpretation of, of hardcore. Yeah, and the good thing is, like, when you see a character on these realms, and they're alive, and they're a high level, there's not going to be any question of whether or not they cheated. There's not going to be a question of whether or not they're actually doing the hardcore challenge. If you see a character on these realms, and they're high level, they have not died yet. And so that's the other really good thing. Like, on Bloodsail Buccaneers, it was the honor system, you know what I mean? It's just the honor system. People could die and res and keep going, and you would never really know. And then on Blood Cell Buccaneers and Hydraxian Waterlords, there was already a big population of role players because they were roleplay servers originally. So there was already a high population of level 60s who had just been playing the game, going about their lives, <laughs> and then Hardcore came. Rambles Jr. is dead. <laughs> Good. Yeah, someone took many names, including the name Rambles Jr. for some reason. I'm glad they died. I, sh I should go grab that name. I need to get to the land so I can eat a little bit if I want to keep fighting these guys. Oh, look at this guy hanging out. Who is this? Matt Kaskar. I've never seen this guy or heard of him before. Maybe he's for a class quest. He's just hanging out there waiting for the person to, like, stroll up on him so he can kill him. My, my wife brought me some emergency Red Bull. I usually don't drink Red Bull at all. And usually if I drink Red Bull, it's mixed with a little bit of another beverage. But I usually don't drink Red Bull, so we'll, I'm going to drink a little bit of it and we'll see if that can keep me going a little bit longer. Why does he appear red? Uh, he was, uh, it was an NPC, so I'm assuming that it was like a, a quest enemy that you have to kill for some kind of class quest. Be sad, Doug, you got wrecked by him last week. Um, I never knew he was there 20 years. 20 years later, I never I never knew that that guy existed. That's the incredible thing about World of Warcraft is you can play the game for so long and there's always going to be like nooks and crannies and quests and NPCs that like you don't know about until you do. How long will I stream for tonight? Ah, I mean, I want to go for at least another hour. I think I, I think I have another hour in me. 
I, I'm an old person, so, you know, we get tired. I, I even took a nap after my workout today to, like, try to, like, conserve some energy. Yeah, Mike, it's disgusting. Uh, the, the sugar-free stuff doesn't taste as bad, so it's sugar-free Red Bull, firstly. I don't, I, don't, I don't do the sugar stuff ever. But, yeah, it doesn't taste good still, but it, it, since, since I never drink it, it is very effective. Like, you know what I mean? Since I hardly ever drink it, I almost said take it. Like, it's a drug. It basically is a drug, essentially. It's like hyper-caffeine. Uh, so, yeah, it's actually pretty effective when I do drink it. <laughs> How old? Too old. But then every time I say how old I am, someone's going to be like, oh, that's young. It's like, okay, but it's all a matter of perspective. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be 40 in January. The big 4-0. When I, when I was young, I used to think that I wouldn't even live to see 30 for some reason. I was like, I was very short-sighted with my life. I'm like, man, 30, that seems like way too old. I probably won't make it that far. And now I'm about to be 40. I feel great, you know, like physically I feel great. I mean, I work out, so, I've been, and I've been doing that for 18 years, so like I don't I don't feel like old, but I, 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 what happens, like I get tired. I get tired earlier than I would. I don't have like the energy to stay up late or to make myself like stay up late for things. Part of it must maybe is just like laziness on my part. I probably could force myself to like stay up later and stuff. I just don't do it. Jolt Cola. <laughs> Jolt Cola, remember Surge? Is Surge still around? It gets worse. It's not going to get worse for me because physically, like, at my peak in the day, I feel better than I've ever felt. Yeah, it's not going to get much worse for me unless something catastrophic happens. Obviously, I could hurt myself or something could happen, but I I've been weightlifting for almost 20 years. And so, you know, I, I, can I can do more than I used to be able to do, basically. I started my, my adulthood as a 20-year-old person who was six foot four and only weighed 150 pounds. So imagine a walking stick. In fact, my nickname was Stick. <laughs> and so yeah, imagine imagine that. And then now, now I'm 200 pounds. So now I feel great. I'll probably feel great right up until the moment something takes me out of this world. That's the dream, at least. I feel like like maybe the tiredness and laziness will get worse, but like I don't I don't know my physical body's just is fine so far. Uh, part of me wants to keep farming these guys, but uh, oh wait, are we done? Did I do it? Did I complete the quest and not realize it? Oh my god, I did. I completed the quest and didn't realize it. <laughs> Good times. Good times. Surge still exists, but it's not the same. Yeah, it used to have like double the sugar of Mountain Dew, and Mountain Dew was already like so bad for humans. And then Surge came out, it had like double the sugar, and it's like, wow, okay, so we want everyone to just die. <laughs> perfect, perfect, I see. How are the official servers compared to doing the add-on on uh, on the blood on blood? Oh, it depends on what you mean. Uh, the rules are different, so like it's a, it feels a lot more like playing World of Warcraft because you're not locked out of a bunch of stuff arbitrarily. As far as like how it feels viscerally, it, it feels really good right now because like Blood Cell Buccaneers and stuff that that server was dying. Ever since they announced official hardcore, the other servers started to kind of go into a decline. So there were just less and less people playing every day. So for that, like this feels really good. Like, actually seeing a bunch of people. Uh, do I want to do the, um, the centaur stuff right now? I don't- I don't know if I want to do the centaur stuff right now. Is my- is my questy just bugged, or... Or what is exactly happening there? I- I think my questy is bugged. Let's do a little reload. What rules have changed? Uh, nothing, well, compared to what? Compared to Blood Sail Buccaneers and the add-on? So the add-on is solo self-found. The only rules that exist in the current mode that we're playing now is that the dungeons have a 24-hour lockout. 
And obviously, if you die, the character ain't coming back. Whereas with Solo Cell Found, you, you could only run a dungeon once per character. So like, if your character killed a boss, you could never kill that boss again. You weren't allowed to trade, you weren't allowed to use the auction house. Yeah, Solo Cell Found has a bunch of other restrictions. Yeah, Jason, there there are layers. Yeah, there's layers in uh, there's layers on, on every classic server. All all the classic era servers have layering. Imagine imagine what a cluster it would be if there weren't any layering. It's like layering in this case is probably for the best, you know. They they even gave a warning and like you, guys like if you were gonna accept a group invite. Now this is really important. If you get a group invite. Don't take that invite where there are going to be enemies, even if you just killed a bunch, because you're going to get transported to someone else's lair, and in someone else's lair, those enemies might still be alive. And that's everyone's personal responsibility. Before you take a group invite, be somewhere safe, okay? Even if you have to tell them, hey, don't invite me yet. I need to get somewhere safe. Uh, because this, this is something that people have complained about in the past on Blood Sale. You know, they, they take a group invite, they've just killed all the mobs around them, and then they get into a, a, a phase where the enemies are alive, and then they get killed. So yeah, don't, don't take any invites unless you are somewhere safe. Really, really important. There was a questy update. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll grab my add-on updates tomorrow. It's, it's working well enough for the time being. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to do next. I feel like maybe we do these. We go for the Cult Tyrans. I feel like I'm like a little bit of a low level to do much of anything, honestly. I want to get level 7 before I tackle any of these quests. Let's let's just try to grind out level 7. And, and we'll head up to Razor Hill. We'll do our level 6 training. So I, I don't think I did level 6 training. Although I could be wrong. It's getting to that time of night. Oh yeah, that tastes disgusting. Ugh. Will Bliss push hardcore for Wrath? No. No, there's there's not a big like desire or community for it in Wrath of the Lich King. I, some people do it, you know. I, I've seen like on some of the death reels, people trying to do like hardcore Wrath. Uh, but for the most part, there's not really a big desire for it. So no, I, I wouldn't think we'll ever see that. We're, we're running from this because we, we pulled one of those scorpions, but I, I think that maybe... Yeah, we aggroed both those scorpions. I'm glad I like saw that coming. Because at, at first I thought we'd only pulled one, and I thought maybe we fight it, but no. <laughs> no, we don't fight it. We, we run away. Most important thing for the warrior is going to be like running away as soon as we pull something we didn't mean to. Even if it looks like it might be okay. I'm going to avoid those guys completely. <laughs> Forget that. Yeah, I, I've been I've been kind of like not grouping yet. I don't know. I thought I thought there was an opportunity like maybe I would group up a lot more in the, in this uh, mode of play, but I, I haven't even been in a group yet, and it's it's been okay. It would be a lot more like safe to group up with people, you know. 
I, I think there will be times when I group up, like if, if it's a super dangerous area and I know that people are working on the same quest, um, then we'll probably try to like start a group. I, I just don't want to get to a point where we're like, we're running around as a five person group, just like murdering everything in sight. Four minute queue for Defias Pillager. That's not bad. I mean, the fact that we're on opening night and like the longest queue times we've seen have only been a couple of minutes. That's very good. I like that. How is this compared to years past on opening nights? This is like drastically different. A lot of times, uh, you know, we, we all believe that like on an opening night the servers are going to fall over and we believe that because it has been our experience with Blizzard throughout the history of launches. Is that even when the servers come up, typically they eventually fall down. Or they don't fall down but they, they impose like really big queue times to keep people out. But this has been entirely different. This has been entirely different for launch. Luke, I appreciate that, man. Thanks for being here. Yeah, we only we had that one really bad blip, and like it seems like maybe that was all of our bad luck for the night so far. I shouldn't say that yet, but uh, it does seem like the weird power issue was like our only bad luck for for opening night. During Legion, it was the DDoS attack. Yeah, I kind of remember that. Uh, I hope this guy's not AFK because that is not that is not a good spot to be AFK. <laughs> which which area scares me the most? Hmm. I don't have a good danger sense, so like even when I'm somewhere where, where I should be really, really worried, I don't actually get worried. I, I won't be worried right up until the minute that I die. Yeah, I, I don't have a really good... I guess like off the top of my head, obviously, like Westfall. Westfall will, will get you killed, like the Defias Pillagers there will... And Skull Rock. <laughs> Literally, the, take, the names, take the names of the servers, and those are some of the scariest areas. Anywhere there's a Pillager, and then inside the Skull Rock cave... We, we got we got a troll mage killed inside Skull Rock very recently. So yeah, I, I think like the mo the upcoming area that I'm fearful of is going to be Skull Rock. We're not going to go into Skull Rock until we're like way over level for it, and that's just how it has to be. Let's go train level six, and then we'll come back out. That troll mage died a long time ago. Yep. To be fair, I, I didn't really like it because I don't I don't really like trolls because they, they can't wear boots. I, I have issues with races that can't wear boots properly. Brandon, you got Zelzane? It's awesome. The Pally's alive, but he retired at level 47. I sent I sent him over to the I took the free transfer I sent him over to the Mancrit cluster. 
Yep, between between Paladins being like F tier DPS and the fact that we hadn't got a new weapon in 11 levels, it got pretty darn tedious. Pretty darn tedious. Ah, uh, Warrior Trainer, Warrior Trainer. I don't really know where the Warrior Trainer is at. Apparently he's right over here. He's inside the building with everybody else. The troll feet comment was racist. Yeah. I, I guess so. <laughs> if pointing out that I don't like their feet is that, then I guess it was. Yeah, I just like to work... Because boots are such a part of your outfit in WoW. Like, there's not... You know what I mean? Like, when when you can't see the boots at all, and it's just like a little band around your ankle, like, it kind of takes away from, like, getting a piece of gear or having, like, an overall look. And, and they have two toes. I get it. But we, we can give them some wide... Some wide shoes, you know? They can, they can make boots that trolls could fit into. They just won't do it. <laughs> uh, oh, having the ability to parry might be good. Yeah, we have Thunderclap now. I can get the uh, Foreman's pick off the bar. That'd be smart. Uh, Thunderclap we might not be using a lot. Blast nearby enemies, increasing the time between their attacks. If we're getting, if we're getting slammed by multiple melee guys, and we want to fight them and not run away, then Thunderclap is good. Uh, if not, then I don't know how much Thunderclap we'll use. We'll see. Let's make sure we go up uh, and... Wait, wait, wait. What is this? We already grabbed the one on the tower. Oh, break a few eggs. Oh, okay, this is what we need. Before we go down into the Echo Isles, we need the Raptor Egg Quest. So I, I'm tempted, like, early on, I, I, I don't think I'm going to vend- I'm going to vendor the, the scraps, obviously. I'm going to vendor the scraps, because we, we can't do anything with the scraps. But I'm, I'm holding on to everything else, and for now it's going to go on the auction house. Oh, actually. I, I can't equip guns yet. Where, where do I train guns? Where do I train guns? Probably not Orgrimmar. I'm, I'm going to sell it for now. You're getting ready for bedtime? Yeah. That sounds about right. Gardevoir's taking over the stream. Yeah. I wish I wish she wouldn't. <laughs> I saw that this was like one of the biggest streams. Oh, you saw this was one of the biggest streams. Yeah, mom told how many people it, it we, we hit we hit like three hundred concurrent people at the same time. And then the power went boom. And then I read some people laughed. <laughs> some people did not come back. But we got, it's a bit, it's great. Everyone's been great. We got a lot of people tonight hanging out. It's been a good time. <laughs> what else, buddy? Okay. What are you doing? You know, like a desert? Mm hmm. Kind of like a desert, yep. For leather. <laughs> Poor bull. Everybody rip bull in the boar, boar. Everybody rip bull in the comments. Yeah. A, a bull would be something different. Even if you spelled it O L E. <laughs> okay, now something is in four. He, he's actually trying to bite you. Yeah, he's aggressive. He's trying to eat. Why 
All right, I think I'm gonna go into a dangerous area. Oh, I see that scene. <laughs> you should uh, you should say goodbye to chat. Bye, Dad. I'll come say goodnight once I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Mike, you died again, man. <laughs> did you go? Did you go on a rogue again? Yeah, he likes to come and try to take over the stream. So far, he's never gotten me killed, so... J James is kind of indifferent to Goomba. I don't think James is much of a dog person. You'd think he's really into Pokemon, so you'd think that he would be, but he, he just kind of ignores the dog. Once the shaman gets the uh, the distracting totem, I forget what it's called. Then that's that's pretty overpowered because then if you if you pull two people, you can drop the totem and then one of them just like goes onto the totem. Uh, do I want to take these guys on right now? Yeah, I mean it's probably okay. Uh, the the impossible part's going to be getting Benedict, right? They have a nice kill quest here, but then we have to get the name guy, which is going to be like pretty tough. He has played a little bit of WoW. Yeah, he's played in Classic. He has a level 5 human mage. He, he doesn't often ask to play. Whenever he asks to play, we have a second rig in my office, which was my old rig when I, before I built this one. And uh, whenever he asks to play, I typically let him play if I'm down here hanging out. You know, I've, I've got all the chat and stuff disabled so he can't have any interactions with anybody. Uh, this looks bad. Oh, we should pay attention to ourselves and not worry about other people. But yeah, he, he's into Pokemon and into Minecraft, mainly. And, and I'm definitely fine with that. <laughs> World of Warcraft isn't really a kid's game. So I'm fine with it. He shows the most interest because I stream, you know. that That's mainly what he's interested in. Because he also watches the YouTubes, and he has some people that he watches on YouTube, so... That's his biggest interest, is, is coming being on the stream. And also, like, you know, he, he's, a be he's a beginning reader. So, like, once this, this year he'll probably level up his reading skill a little bit more. And then he'll probably be more interested in, in playing games like WoW and stuff where you have to read more. <laughs> Ryan, getting getting a kid of that age to do anything at all for an hour is an accomplishment, you know? Like, yeah, I guess, I think Minecraft is one of the things, like, he'll sit there and play Minecraft for a long time. You gotta tell him to, like, take a break. But yeah, I, I feel like just in general, getting a kid to, like, do anything specifically for more than an hour is, like, an achievement. Because, yeah, they, they don't have long attention spans. Even in the best of circumstances, they don't have long attention spans. Don't run that guy by me. I don't want your aggro. Oh my god, this guy's gonna get someone killed. <laughs> I'm gonna be over here, uh, not dealing with that. What a mess. Oh look, we, we got somebody anyway. How did I get this guy on my aggro chain? Oh my gosh. It's so rude. I hate when people run a big chain of enemies right at other people. It's so fucking rude, man. So rude. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Undead Priest. Papa Smurf Hardcore. I appreciate you pulling that one off of me. I didn't really want to deal with it. Yeah, that's one of my pet peeves, man. When somebody has a train of like six guys and they run at you. Like, don't don't you dare run at me. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. Don't run at me. 
Does he enjoy school? Yeah, he's really looking for it. We did the meet and greet today where he got to go meet his teacher and see the new classroom. And he, he's super excited for summer to end and to get back to some kind of like school routine where he can see his friends often and stuff like that. Oh, he already wants to have a channel and do stuff. I, I told them when he's older and he's an A, B student, once they start giving him, like, letter grades for stuff. Once he's older, he's got A's and B's, He's and he's super mature, then I told them we can talk about it then. He has all kinds. He likes, he wants to do, like, bug hunting videos and toy play videos and video game videos. He's got all kinds of stuff, like, that he wants to do. That he would probably be able to do and it would probably be good, but like, I, I need him to become a student first. <laughs> I need him to become a functional student and to achieve excellence in some other area of life first. I, I often have to remind him that like, I, I didn't start doing YouTube until I was 35. <laughs> so... Anubis, you've had school going for three weeks. You, you probably get out, they probably get out earlier where you're at than, than here. Here we get out on June 10th. June 10th is usually the last day of school, and then they usually go back the last week of August. That was a bad pull. <laughs> that, that was a bad pull, and I'm, I'm going to run from this pull. Unless this person pulls that one off of me, which it looks like they're trying to do. Okay, there we go. I'm not gonna... I'm... Oof, oof. I don't want to leave this person with these two. Okay, I'm gonna help out here because I caused this. I I'm gonna kill this one. He's gonna have to figure out what to do with the other one. Uh, and we'll, we'll try to help. Once we're done with this one, we'll go help. Okay, this one's gonna bleed out. Let's come over here. Okay, there we go. Perfect, perfect. May 24th? Yeah, see, that's like almost a month earlier. Uh, the thing about where I live is like not all schools have like air conditioning. And not all schools even that have air conditioning have good air conditioning. So they try to let the kids out like before it gets too hot. And they try to have them go back after it cools off. You know, and that, that works to some extent. Uh, we have full inventory, so we're not we're not hanging out here. We're gonna we're gonna go back to town and take care of this. We've had a couple of close calls here anyway that we don't really need to deal with. I'm in southeastern Michigan. And parts of southeastern Michigan are kind of kind of like a shithole. <laughs> we, we live in an okay area, but yeah, a lot of the school buildings are old. And so sometimes like parts of the building will have AC. Sometimes the newer schools will have AC. His school does have air conditioning, but we were there today and it still felt humid inside the school. So it wasn't, it wasn't like super comfortable and they were like probably cranking their AC to the max. But like the, the schools that I went to when I was growing up, like none of them had AC. And only, only, only the arts wing of my high school had AC, and the only reason the arts wing had AC because it was new construction. It had, it had been constructed within the like prior five years, but the rest of the building did not have any AC. I remember like as we got into June, just like teachers would have like ro rotating fans. They try to crack the windows, but mainly you were just sweating for like the last like couple weeks of school every year. And then you'd go back, and it would still be hot when you went back, you know. Yeah, down in the down in the south and stuff, I'm pretty like yeah. You guys pr probably had AC in the schools like a lot longer, but like a lot of the old schools here don't have AC. If it's humid, wouldn't that cause problems with, with mold? Yeah, I'm sure it does. You hope that they change the big filters on those AC units and that they clean the ducts out and stuff, but who knows how often they actually do that? <laughs> the, the number miles now those uh, some of those miles you listed are not roads but some of them are like i i, I grew up i grew up right by eight mile road yeah i'm like eminem basically me and eminem we went to the same high school now he's 10 years older than me so we didn't go together or anything like that but yeah yeah i i, I grew up the the alley across the street from my house like there was my street 
houses and alley and then eight mile road was right there. What, what wasn't sick was getting jumped multiple times on my walk to, to high school. <laughs> that, that part of living in that area wasn't too sick. But other than that, it was fine. Uh, it's, it's not like a road that's dangerous. There's just pockets of areas where like you had to learn like the, the streets and the areas where you didn't want to be. And mainly what helped was like not ever being by yourself. Like you always wanted to hang out with your friends. If you were out riding your bikes or out in the neighborhoods, like you just didn't want to really be by yourself. Like every time I got jumped on the way to school is because I walked by myself, you know, rookie mistake. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was kind of the hood, I guess. When you're a kid and you just grow up with it, you don't really think about it that way. But yeah. It didn't make me tough at all. It made me scared. No, I was just a skinny kid back then, like, you know. It, it didn't really make me tough. What well, it made me realistic and pragmatic, which was like I under I understood that the world was dangerous. I understood that there were things you had to watch out for. I understood sometimes you see a bunch of guys roll up in a car, you start jumping fences and running through uh, running through the fences and through the the neighborhood to get away. <laughs> Even if you weren't sure what was going on, you just you just had to like react quickly and, and like you had to be aware. It was like hardcore life basically. Yeah. It's so tough I can wear a Care Bear sweater at 39 and not care. Yeah. I became streetwise, in, in a way, I guess. Yeah, that might be giving me too much credit, but yeah, I, I definitely developed a danger sense. Mainly, it was like, if you were hanging out with friends, like, you were you were fine. It was only if you were, like, out by yourself that, like, things like that could happen. When will I go to Brill? Uh, probably 8 or 9. Level 8 or 9. Should be a good time. Your kids know nothing of that life except through GTA. <laughs> yeah, well, my kid doesn't either, and I, I'm glad for that. I hope he doesn't have to learn that uh, the way I did. Because I, I don't think people should really have to be subjected to that. Now, obviously, there are lots of parts of the world where like people are subjected to far worse. Part of me does not want to go into this keep. I, I probably shouldn't go into the keep right now. I feel like it'd be a bad idea. Anybody know what level uh, Benedict is? Because if he's a high level, I know he's going to have at least one guy with him. That's not going to be good. Maybe, maybe we should do some stuff in Brill before we tackle a lot more here. Let's for sure do the canvas scraps, and then we'll kind of see like how we're feeling. These guys outside, they're, they're respawning so quick that I, I hesitate to even try to go inside the building. How long have I been playing WoW? I've been playing WoW since 2004. Since the game came out, I have been playing it to some degree or another. Now I've taken breaks, you know, in my life. I've taken short breaks, long breaks. Like, I, di I didn't play through Mr. Pandaria hardly at all. Me and my friend leveled up pandas together. We leveled them up as quickly as we could, and then I got super burned out. I took a while off. <laughs> Clint, that sounds scary as hell. <laughs> yeah, it was. It'd always be like two guys. The both times I got jumped, it was two guys, 
and uh yeah it, it wasn't like a whole bunch but then the one time i got jumped like i got jumped and then a car of more guys pulled up and that's when i started hopping the fences i was like okay that dude just beat my ass and now i gotta get out of here before the rest of the guys decide to have their fun too that was the only time i thought like i might this might kill me you know oh god we gotta go <laughs> we're running speaking of getting killed we don't want to get killed here I'm not, I'm not going into this place. This place is a death trap. It's obviously a death trap. I know it's a death trap. You guys know it's a death trap. So let's just let's just not do it. How are we on the scraps? We need a couple more. We can get them out here a lot more safely. And we're not going to go into that keep until we're level 10. Once we're level 10, we'll go in there. We'll round up a bunch of guys and we'll kill them all at once. Inventory's full. Okay, we'll, we'll get the last scrap and then we'll go back to town. I have to buy a bag. I don't really want to spend all of our money on it, <clears throat> but it's kind of, we haven't gotten a bag to drop, which is, uh, it's kind of bad luck. I, I feel like, I feel like the character has a little bit of bad luck built in. Maybe if we go over to Tira's Fall, maybe we'll get, uh, we'll get some bags to drop. Bloodmoon, good evening. Realms will be down in the morning from 7 to 8. Is that is that 7 to 8 our time, Eastern Standard Time, or is it 7 to 8 PDT? It makes sense that they would have some maintenance to do after tonight, um, so I'm not really surprised. Eastern time. Oh, okay. Well, at least they're doing it early. It's awesome of them to try to do it like, you know, super early so that people can like actually play in the morning and stuff. So there's that. I, I will, I will, I will probably be asleep at that time. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm hoping that I will be at least. But now I know not to purposely wake up super early. Bobby, can I explain my gaming setup? I'm I'm not exactly sure what what you mean. Like my my streaming setup. I don't stream with two PCs or anything. I, I'm I'm streaming off the computer that I'm playing from because for what I do, that's fine. Yeah, I, I'm running with one rig right now. I, I know a lot of people when they stream, they have like the computer they're playing on. They run it through a capture card and then they stream on a different on a different rig. But I'm ru I'm running it all through the computer I'm playing on. Which is a, is a, it's a computer I built through uh, I Buy Power. I built it pretty recently. I built it around the time that Wrath of the Lich King came out. It, it's got a 3070 in it, so no, nothing like super, super powerful, but much better than what I had in the past. Yeah, I'm, I'm running with a, with a 3070. And, uh, and, and a processor. I have a processor. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not Intel, but it works. Yeah, it's an AMD processor. I, I think like I don't think I would do AMD again, but it's been okay. I'd probably go Intel next time. I, I went AMD this time because I never I never had an AMD processor, and I thought, yeah, I'll try it. When I first got the rig, the the processor, there was a lot of stuttering issues. Like every every like five or six minutes, we'd get like a little stutter, and it was some kind of BIOS thing that like eventually they sorted it out, thankfully. But because of that initial experience with AMD, I would probably never. Uh, I would probably never do AMD again. It's definitely going to be Intel from, from here on out. Normal realm downtime is uh, usually they take the realms down at 7 a.m. Pacific destination time, which is 10 o'clock in the morning my time, which is very inconvenient because 10 o'clock in the morning my time is usually when I like to get on and start playing for the day. So yeah, usually when they take the servers down, it's like 7 to 8 Pacific Destination Time, which is three hours behind me. So yeah, it would be it's usually 10 to 11 my time, which is like worst time for me to have it be down. 
uh, what what happens then is I'll usually try to like I'll either record something that's not WoW. I'll I'll record one of the non WoW series or I'll get a workout in. But if they could do it earlier, that's amazing. Yeah, Wolfhard, I'm not sure, man. It's it's always Pacific Destination time. Yeah, and I've been doing this for a while. It's it's always it's always seven a.m. PDT. That's for like a, that's for like a normal maintenance. It'd be seven to eight, so it'd be ten to eleven my time. Let's go turn in the canvas scraps. That'll give us a four slot bag. I want to say. Oh, what is this? People are weird. That's a cool name, but I can't sign your charter. Thanks for trying to get me, though. It's a close one. Well, that's just rude. I don't know why I can't make that jump, but okay. That'll help us a little bit with our inventory problem. We're also going to buy a bag, I think. It's going to cost us five silver, but it's probably going to be worth it. All right, I'm gonna buy this bag. I'm gonna be AFK for a minute here. I need to, I need to bio and stretch my legs really quick, and then I'll be back. And we'll, we'll, I'll try to keep going a little bit more. I'd like to play a little bit more. I, I don't know how much longer. But this guy does not have bags. He's a trade supply vendor. I need the general goods vendor. I need, I need a general goods vendor. And apparently, I, I don't know where that is. Let's look over here. Uh, Bowyer, cloth armor. That's a no. Oh, uh, I can't read their names. Engineer, is there is there not a general goods vendor here? Is he inside the hovel? Is he inside is he inside here maybe? I might go to Brill tonight, Joe. I'm not I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I think I'll at least get on the Zeppelin and, and see. See what the what level the quests are over that way. General goods vendor, there he is. It's Jark. Jark the general goods guy. Okay, that's done. I will be right back. Alright, there we go. See, now, now I'll just play the game like a four-year-old with ADHD and not like a four-year-old with ADHD who has to urinate, so...
All right, yeah, I, I think that we probably should just get ourselves over to Brill. That's probably gonna be like the safest thing we can do at this point. Because that, that, that keep was a mess. I, I'm kind of surprised we didn't bite it. We, we had a couple people help us out, incidentally. That's all that saved us. When we do the guild signing, we're probably going to do guild signing tomorrow. It's 10 silver. It's 10 silver for the guild, and I want, I want to be able to pay for the charter myself. I don't think I'm going to have 10 silver till tomorrow. You wonder if I wash my hands like Asmongold? I don't know. How does Asmongold wash his hands? That's a weird thing to know about somebody. I wash my hands with soap and water, and, and then I dry them off. <laughs> and that's, that's the only way I know how to do it. If there's a different method, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. Nah, Joe, I'm not, I'm not gonna go to Death Knell. It, it's, not, it's not worth it. Y you don't get any experience out of it. If you do the Death Knell questing, you'll get, at this level that we're at, you'll get like four bubbles of XP. It's not worth it. I can go kill stuff and get more XP. Don't say it. If it's, yeah, okay. Yeah, fair. Mike says don't say it. If Mike says don't say it, probably not a good thing to say. It, I can, now I can imagine, now I can imagine a, a couple of possibilities. I can, I can imagine a couple of things that Asmund might say about washing his hands. And, uh, yeah, I might have to. <laughs> you guys, you guys know me. <clears throat> yeah, I might. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to, but. So, yeah. If it's disgusting, I'd rather not know about it. It's, and it's probably like, I doubt that whatever it is is true of Asmongold, but it probably is just some shit that he says. <laughs> It's bad. I'm sure it's bad. I can't imagine. Asmund freaked out after having his first shower in years. Yeah, I mean, to each their own. I'm not going to judge him for what he does. Nope. That's not, that's not going to be me. We just missed the Zep, didn't we? Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Dare, dare we fight these level 9 boars? Dare we? Level 8? I think level 8 is okay. Archaic with a 599 pound super chat. Thank you for all your awesome videos. Thank you for being an awesome person and for being here hanging out with us. I appreciate that. YouTube must like me recently. I think YouTube hates me, but uh, you guys seem to like me, which I appreciate. I got more ads than before. YouTube changed how their ads work on streams recently. It was last week. YouTube made a bunch of changes to how the ads how the ads work. I used to have this really cool feature where, like, when an ad was coming in, I I could see it and I had the ability to skip it or pause it or delay it, like in real time. They would show me, "Hey, ad coming in, in one minute. What do you want to do? Let the ad roll, or do you want to skip it?" So I, I had a lot more like granular control over like when the ads actually played, and they took that away. And they made me pick from a bunch of other settings, and they recommended some stuff, and it's like everything has been different about the ads, like, recently. And that's a YouTube thing, not a me thing. We'll occupy ourselves by skinning all this stuff. YouTube wants to pay itself more, and like, what happens as a, as a result is maybe I'll make like I'll make pennies more. I'll, I'll make pennies more uh, while YouTube makes whatever they make off of running what seems to be they're running more ads. It's, it, the general consensus is that since the change, there have been more ads. 
I think they're running an ad about every 20 minutes. And so, like, I don't really benefit a lot from that in a stream. Something that you guys should know about YouTube is, like, YouTube does not pay creators a lot of advertising money for streams. You, you get paid a lot more from ads when you're just publishing a video normally. Especially a channel like mine, which is founded on publishing, like, standard videos and hasn't been streaming for very long. Like, I, I don't make a lot of money on the VODs and stuff like that at all. Not, not especially compared to what I might make by just putting up a recorded video. YouTube makes money off the streams. <laughs> and they clearly want, like, more money. Uh, but the, the main and almost the only way that a, a content creator on YouTube makes money off a stream is by donations. By, by you guys being awesome and super chatting and, and signing up for the memberships and stuff. That's how creators on YouTube make money from streams. Uh, we, we don't get a lot of money from the streams from advertising as compared to uh, like putting up a normal video. I don't know that they I don't think they skim anything off of these super chats and stuff if they do it's like pennies I think it's very it's very fair when it comes to uh, what you get from like a super chat you get the majority of it. it It's the ad money that they take you on like I said on a stream like they basically don't pay you ad money That's that's what it is. That's kind of the trade-off with streaming is like you, you have the potential to like engage your audience more and therefore like you could make money um, but you don't. You don't make the money the same way you would on like a, an immersive recorded episode. So, yeah. And also like when your channel is like big into like the recorded stuff and then you start doing streams, it messes up the algorithm a little bit. So then the algorithm gets all messed up. It, it changes how many people get pushed to your content and like wacky things have, have happened, so. People, uh, people uh, ask, ask me like, "Oh, has your has your channel taken off since you've been streaming?" And uh, the answer is no. I stream so much because I love it, because I like hanging out with you guys. But if I were looking at it, if I were looking at it from just a money perspective, then then I probably would not stream as much as I do. If I were thinking about it from just like just a money perspective and just an algorithm perspective, then I probably would not be able to stream as much as I do. I, I'm I'm on here all the time because I have a blast. Anubis, I appreciate that people have said that before. Have you thought about doing audiobooks? No, audiobooks would be a lot of work. <laughs> Why would I want to do audiobooks when I can hang out with you guys and play video games? It also, like, when you gotta think about audiobooks, it's like voice acting, right? You gotta, you gotta have a way into the industry, which means you have to know somebody. Uh, yeah, it's, uh... Before I was doing this, I, I, I taught corporate classes. So I had a lot of time as an in-classroom instructor and facilitator. Like half the year I would write the curriculum, the other half of the year I, I would train the trainers, and then those guys would go on to like train the associates. And that's what I did in my life uh, before this. But yeah, audiobooks sounds like it'd be a lot of work. And then like what happens with audiobooks is like, y you're never gonna get to read the audiobooks like that you would want to read for yourself, you know what I mean? You're gonna be stuck reading out whatever your agent found for you for that month. You're gonna do like you're gonna be reading like a cookbook or something. It's gonna be awful. <laughs> but I appreciate the sentiment when people tell me that. I understand that it comes from a place like, oh, you have a really good voice. And people are like, would you do audiobooks? And I'm like, nah, I probably never would. Also, like I have a voice, but my voice doesn't have like a huge dynamic range. And like when you do audiobooks, you need to be able to like kind of slip into some more characters and stuff and like modulate your voice a little bit differently and my voice is kind of just stuck being my I, I have a decent lego batman voice that i can pull out sometimes but besides that i got nothing i got nothing else i can't do it on command <laughs> that's the other problem is I can do it spontaneously, but I can't do it on command, which you you would need to be able to do those things on command to read out an audiobook. And I, and I can't do I have to be like quoting something or reading something to do it. Or I have to have like a specific line in my head. But I, I can't slip into it on command. It's like trying to get into a character when you're like LARPing or doing D&D. &D. Like I can never do it. I can never slip into those things like at my own willpower.
<laughs> Tactical, would I be reading Ninja Turtles fan fiction? That sounds awesome, actually. Like, if I could read Ninja Turtles fan fiction, I would probably have a blast with that. When, when I was a kid, to like, to practice my writing, because I thought I was going to be a writer when I was a kid. When I was a kid, to practice my writing, I would write uh, Transformers fan fiction. I, I decided I, I, would, I, I wrote in that universe because then I could focus just on like the writing. I didn't have to come up with the universe or the characters. I, I could just tell stories. And so I, I wrote a bunch of like Transformers fan fiction when I was a kid to practice my writing skills. Fitness Freak, thank you. Thanks for being here. All right, we've safely landed. Oh, it's nice and dark here. That's right, it's almost, it's almost nighttime in Azeroth. When does the sun go down in Azeroth? Is it like 9.30 or something server? Because I guess like server time, it's earlier. It's only six servers, so yeah, I guess we're not that close yet. Jason, the biggest deal has been the ability to group up. I haven't grouped up a single time yet. I, I just haven't done it. I'm sure I will eventually. But not yet. A Ghostbusters tabletop RPG tactical? That sounds really fun. When I was a kid, I, I loved the Ghostbusters movie, and then the real Ghostbusters cartoon. Not the other Ghostbusters cartoon, the real Ghostbusters, okay? Because there were two cartoons, they looked kind of similar, but one told silly stories, and the other told, like, serious, I <laughs> serious for, like, a, a cartoon. Yeah, the real Ghostbusters cartoon was the bomb. I need to, uh, I need to make some bandages. That'd be really great. And then I, I probably need... I should hold on to this boar meat, but I'm not going to. I, I need it out of my inventory for now. Same thing with the stingers. I, I, just, I need inventory space more than anything else. Alright, let, let's see what we have going on here. And we'll decide uh, what we want to do. I think like Burning Blade Medallion, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this for now. Maybe, maybe I'll go back and check on him tomorrow. Like if I'm up early enough, maybe I'll go back and check on him. Uh, this guy's got level 10 and 11 quest. I'm not, I'm not really interested in that. What else is going on? Maybe, maybe something upstairs? I, I could have put it in the bank if, if I wanted to go back to, to the city, I could have banked it, yeah. It's okay. Still really early. Alright, level 6. Yeah, level 6 is really... that's that's more of what we want. I'm, I'm kind of confused about... Okay, there's one here that's the wanted poster. Maggot Eye, and there must be one inside the town hall building. Wolfheart, I, I don't remember. I don't know the answer to that one, man. That, I don't know. Uh, eight embalming ichor, also level eight. Ugh, I, I was kind of hoping for more like level five and six stuff. So, I, I hope we find more of that stuff. Let's go check this one out. A putrid task, okay. And then we have to find what's his name, the uh, the stitches guy that wanders the road. He'll he'll have a, a little quest for us to get the doom weed.
Yeah, when I was a kid, I, I must have watched the Ghostbusters movie about a billion times. Every every weekend, I would I would stay at my grandma's house for the weekend, and I remember I had my VHS tape, my recorded Ghostbusters, and I would just like watch it over and over again. I, I must have watched the first Ghostbusters movie a million times. If I sat down to watch it now, I could probably quote like line for line almost every single line in the movie, even after not watching it for so long. Apollo, thank you so much, man. That's super generous of you. Here's a little something to make up for the loss of ad revenue. I appreciate you, man. I, I try not to talk like too much about like revenue and stuff like that, but like sometimes people ask questions, and I I'm usually pretty transparent about stuff like that. I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Red Robin, you're digging the Warcraft 3 playthrough? That's awesome. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It is a, it is a big change of pace, right? I, I like it a lot. It, it's going to be a good campaign. A after I do it on Classic, I, I do want to go back through and do it on the with the Reforge settings to see like if they've made any changes to the campaign, to see like what it really looks like. Because people kind of hate the Reforge graphics, I think. So I'm, I'm going to do the Reforge graphics like after I beat it normally. It's super cool that they added the feature to flip it over to uh, the classical stuff because originally I don't think that was in the game when, when Reforged first came out. I don't think that was an option. So it's really great that they let people do that. <laughs> Your wife says you can't join her unless I help take out the trash. Ah, that's fair. I, I, I'm bad about taking out my own trash, you yeah. That's fair enough. Alex, yeah, it wasn't in the game. Yeah, like, I didn't know about it until you told me. And even then, it was one of those things where I was like, I don't believe it. <laughs> but it's definitely there. Super cool. It, it's so interesting to me when I, when I play War 3, and I see, like, obviously super narrative-driven, right? Super narrative-driven, super character-driven. And then I, I wonder what compelled them to then make an MMO. It, it's such a weird jump, don't you think? To go from like making games like Warcraft and Starcraft. And then so somebody had the idea like, hey, let's make an EverQuest in this world. And keep in mind, like, at WoW's inception when they first designed it, it wasn't even going to have a lot of quests. It was going to be more like an EverQuest experience where you just like wander around and fight stuff and there was going to be some like open world PvP. But then at like almost the last minute, they decided to shove a bunch of quests into the game. Like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of quests. But it's strange to me, like going back and playing it and like seeing how narrative it was. Seeing how like how well written and how, how good the dialogue was. To go from a game like that into an open world MMO is a strange leap. I mean, they nailed it, obviously. Like they had a good idea. They nailed it. But I'm wondering like, it's, it's just weird, you know? Creative passion was the strongest in those times. Yeah, and it's probably like it's probably the group of people that were working on it, right? Because like, 
o- over time, like, people changed, people came and went, they added people to the team. The old guard eventually was all gone. It, it's just kind of, it's an interesting thing. Unfortunately, like, because of the success of WoW, like, we stopped getting RTSs. We, we like, we basically, like, completely stopped getting those, like, v- really narrative-driven, big story, big character RTSs. Which is a shame, because you'd like to live in a world where we can have both of those things. You'd like to live in a world where we could have Warcraft 4, but we could still have WoW. Or at least, God, could we have kept StarCraft? <laughs> could we have please at least kept StarCraft? Did we have to disband StarCraft? Like, yeah, it's like, you kind of wish we could have had we could have had MMOs and RTS, but we, we it didn't work out that way. It didn't work out that way. Instead of RTS, you got pay-to-win trading card game. Yeah, yeah. Like instead of like more StarCraft, you got you got Hearthstone. Yeah, and they, then they tried MOBA. You know, they they tried Heroes of the Storm. I wish we could have at least kept Heroes of the Storm. I liked Heroes of the Storm. I played I played too much Heroes of the Storm. I, I wonder if Amy remembers when I like almost obsessively was playing Heroes of the Storm. I, I wonder if she knows that cumulatively I spent about 200 real life dollars to like unlock characters and skins and stuff in that game. <laughs> yeah, I, I loved Heroes of the Storm. It was just it was just fun to play. And then they decided that even that ga- that game made me spend money, and I don't spend money on games like that. And th- but they decided it, that they decided it wasn't making enough money. <laughs> I'm like, can't you just have a good game? Like, does how much money does it have to make? It wasn't quite 200, Amy. It was 200. <laughs> and I never got super good at it. It was so hard to like raise your rating as like as like a solo queue player. It was so hard to get your rating up. But I played it anyway. What spec will we be? We're, we're gonna go arms until until we have enough talent points to make Fury interesting. And you guys will let me know when that is, and then we'll go Fury. We have a Stormfront coming through, Amy? Oh boy. Like, like, like last night caliber of Stormfront, like when it was shaking the house in the middle of the night, or like, like lesser Stormfronts. No, John, I'm not, I'm not tanking anything. Nope. I won't, I won't be doing it. I don't, I don't want to. I, I could and it'd be fine, but I don't want to. It's rumbling right now, so it's already here. Guys, the storm is already here. I was trying to find the Abomination guy, but we, we haven't seen him yet. <laughs> Red Robin, we should vote on it. We're not going to vote on it. <laughs> nope, I already have this plan in place. Yeah. We're going to level arms for a while, and then once we can get into some of the more interesting talents in Fury, uh, some of the ones that make it actually powerful, then we'll switch to Fury, because I, I want to do Fury, because it'll, it'll be kind of new to me. But I know that in the beginning it's going to be better just to stick it out as arm spec. Don't ruin the stream, Storm. Stupid Storm! Always oh, ruining the stream! I mean, earlier the power went out for no reason. It's like, the Storm, it's like, yeah, god, we don't need a Storm, too. Uh, I should go grab this little uh, this little breadcrumb. We can take that back to the inn eventually. I, I should have set my hearthstone at the inn here. That would have been really, really smart. Mm. 
William, you, you might not be able to heal me, but you can come along and heal whoever is the tank. Like, we'll, we'll definitely need healers and tanks. Like, because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything important. I, I'm gonna hit the enemy in the face with weapons. And that's really all that, that I'm interested in doing. You take a video to show me later? I don't know if that's stream appropriate. Oh, you mean of the storm? Uh oh, what's going on out there? Is it like green skies and like purple lightning? Is it like the upside down in uh, in Stranger Things? Which spec allows you to deal with two-handed weapons? That's something that they added in either BC or Wrath of the Lich King. That was the Fury spec. It was called Monkey Grip or Titan Grip or something. Uh, I think it was. I think it was called Titan Grip. I think it was added either BC or Wrath added it. Can't remember which. Yeah, we've had we've had a green sky situation a couple times. I think my wife's trying to tell me that the storm is like probably going to be pretty significant. <laughs> I think that's the gist of what she's trying to throw down. Is that I, pro I probably shouldn't be taking this lightly, maybe. Sometimes storms kind of blow through really quickly and then it's gone. I guess that's kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, we do have the doom weed, or sorry, the gloom weed. So we can start picking those up. You must have saw the pimp comment, yeah. Michigan's getting lit up with rain and wind. Yeah, I guess that is. You know what's happening is the, the cool front. The cool front must be coming through because I said we had our really, really, really hot day today. And then it was going to cool off, so this must be the uh, the storms coming through with the cold front. I was muted for a second tactical. I don't even know how that happened. That's the time of night it is. I'm like, how did, I, how did I hit my mute button? It's getting to that time of night because I'm an old person. So like, it's, it's approaching 9.30 and I'm like, how am I still playing this game? Oh, we'll definitely sell stuff on the auction house, yeah. We're going to be using the auction house. I, what I think I'll do is I might head to the city before I uh, retire for the evening, and then we'll put some stuff up on the auction house. We, we've got almost two stacks of uh, leather, so that'll be good. I, I don't know how much money people are going to have to spend on that stuff right away, but we're going to find out. Alex, how are you still awake, man? You're not still playing. Are you still playing? Don't die, brother. <laughs> Let, let's let's do at least one dungeon before either of us dies. Yeah, we'll we'll go check out the auction house before we end the stream tonight, and we'll uh, we'll look at some of the prices and we'll see what's going on with it. It it might be crazy, right? It, I've heard it might be crazy. I I heard ten ten gold for a small bag. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah, you guys are you guys are playing together. Hey, that's awesome. You'll probably live then. If, if you guys are sticking together and like not not being too separated, then you'll probably be fine. Yeah, Alex is going to be our main tank, so. 
I think he wanted to be a paladin, but then I then I made us play on the horde side. So. Ooh, level eight. Level eight. Ew, gross. Did not watch you, level eight. Yeah, actually, I thought about that. Just banking stuff until people are higher level. We'll, we'll check out the prices, you know. I, I don't know. If I could sell it for a little bit, like, I don't need to make, like, huge money off of it. But yeah, I had thought originally, like, maybe we store everything in the bank and we hoard it. And then later when people are rolling up their alts and they have a little bit of money, maybe we sell it. Then we'll, we'll check out the prices and then we'll see. We might end up just stashing it in the bank and either saving some of it for the guild or selling it at a later time type of deal. Might be better for us. Steven's doing leather working. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll probably put some of it for the guild and I'll, I'll probably sell some of it. I, I do need to make some money. So I, I am I am gonna have to sell some things. Oh, you know what you know what else I never did, guys? It's really it's really important, and I, I didn't do it. I didn't turn on find minerals. <laughs> I, I think when we start the streams, we'll start we'll start the streams from now on, like doing a little bit of work on our professions, including running around and, and collecting ore and stuff. That's probably how we'll do it. We'll just we'll start off every day by working on the professions a little bit before uh, we get going with any super dangerous stuff. Jason, you just died? Rip. Sorry, man. I am gonna have I'm gonna have to stop soon before I start making like really careless mistakes. The the Red Bull, like the Red Bull didn't do a lot tonight. It didn't do what I expected it to do. I have a pick. Yeah, I do have a pick. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, mining pick. I did grab the mining pick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we could have been looking for ore this whole time. Yep, I grabbed it the first time we ran up to to Orgrimmar, I grabbed it. I think I'd already just had too much caffeine. You ever have it like where you have like too much caffeine and then instead of, instead of helping you stay awake, it makes you really, really tired? Probably because like your, your heart's been palpitating at like an irregular rate for too long. I feel like that's probably what happened to me. I feel, I feel like instead of it sustaining energy, it just kind of started to make me sleepy. It's a caffeine crash, yeah. It doesn't feel too bad, but it definitely didn't like carry me. It didn't give me wings, so I kind of feel like, you know, false advertising. I didn't feel the wings today. I'll probably get the wings as soon as I lay down for bed. As soon as I lay down, I'll probably, like, start feeling like that. Yeah, I charged in. I saw the ice bolt going off. I didn't mean to steal that from that guy, but just I, I couldn't stop the charge, you know? Chaga instead of coffee? I don't even know what that is. It sounds like an illicit substance. Oh, I did it again. Okay, good. He got that one. <laughs> like, I just keep stealing this guy's mobs. Glad he got that one. Am I going to create a different tune to be the GM? No, because even if I die, I can live on as a ghost as a GM. I can be GM ghost on this character. I'll probably pass GM to somebody, you know, if I, if I die. I don't really want to be GM to begin with. <laughs> So I I'm fine, like, I'll probably pass it to Alex if I die, and then he can just pass it back to me. Oh, 
I, I did say I was going to make a bank alt right away, and I, I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to get that done. Because, yeah, I, I do want to have a bank alt pretty quickly. Saga is a mushroom. It's healthier than... It's I, Like I said, tactical, it sounds like an illicit substance. <laughs> if, if it's a mushroom that gives me energy, that, that seems like something out of Mario. Let me do my my favorite thing to say. Sounds made up. They said that you can you can you can maintain like leadership of a guild as a ghost. I think they made a couple tweaks. I I, I forget all the things that they've said. They need to compile all the uh, hardcore facts into one place for people so we can read them all from one place. It's not psychedelic. Okay, that's what, that's kind of what I was getting at. <laughs> like, what kind of energy does it give me exactly? A and will I wake up 13 hours later somewhere else? Because I don't, I don't have a big interest in that. <laughs> I don't have a big interest in that. Oh, we got, we got, ah, oh, the nodes, the node. <laughs> it's already being used. Level eight, yeah, awesome. All right, let's go turn this stuff in. Promotes healthy blood sugar too, and lipid levels. Well, that does sound interesting. Chaga. I'll I'll have to look into this. Cause that sounds good. I, I I have I have some blood sugar issues. Like sometimes I suffer from like low blood sugar mainly is what'll hit me sometimes. Alright, I want to turn this one in, I want to set the hearthstone here, and then I want to go to the Undercity, I want to check out the uh, situation at the auction house. And we'll decide if we're going to put anything up right now, or if we're going to bank everything uh, for later use. Have I ever heard of AG1 drink mix? No, I, ha I have not. Yep, Hearthstone is is not set. <laughs> I'm like, it's that thing, man. It's late. I said I was going to do it, so my brain like checked the box that said I did it. It's okay. We'll be fine. We're just going to the Undercity now, so we'll be okay. Let, let's go grab whatever this is. Level 11, uh, let's, let's not grab it. Our quest log is getting a little full. Yeah. Alright, I, I have to wake up a little bit because we gotta we gotta be hyper vigilant here because if we're not, then we're gonna die to the elevator boss. We don't wanna die to the elevator boss. It's too early.
will there be any bodies in the elevator? We're not, we're not going into that one. Alright, here we go. We're gonna click on the auction house for the first time in like a long, long, long time. Yep. Let's go see what kind of madness is happening on the hardcore auction house on day one. Day one, hardcore auction house. Here we go. Alright, so let's just look at some of the stuff we have. Let's, let's see what the going rate is for light leather. Okay, okay, one piece is uh, half a silver. This is not bad. Now, like, for me, it's not really worth it to sell for this much. I, I don't really, like, I don't think I'm going to sell it all right now. Um, what else can we look at? Let's look at some two-handed weapons. Okay. Okay, this seems effing amazing. Like, if I, if I have the silver, like, this, this is a steal, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay, okay. Nothing for two-handed maces. Two-handed swords also, like, pretty freaking good. How, how do I not just do this now? Okay, I, I'm gonna... I, I think I want one of these weapons. <laughs> I, I think I'm about to pop uh, six silver down on this, on this of the, of the uh, whale. Look for a shield. I refuse. <laughs> we'll never wield a shield. Oh, yeah, I, I, I can check for you. You want to see some shield action? I'm not gonna buy myself a shield. There's nothing for shields. How I can learn I can learn swords here in Undercity, but that that would cost a lot of uh, silver. I'm not gonna buy anything right now, mainly because I'm not thinking straight. But secondly, because I don't have the I don't have enough money to buy the sword weapon skill and the sword. So, yeah, I'm gonna save everything for right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna. What about the tiger's eye? Let me let me check on the tiger's eye. It's probably not going to be worth selling anything right now. But we'll have a look. That's the one you have, Alex? Yeah. Uh, apparently lots of, like, axes and swords are dropping for people. Yeah, see, that it's not worth it for me to sell anything right now. I'm going to put everything in the bank for now. And we'll just, we'll revisit it later. We get bonus with axes, Tactical? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, you're right. I, I, sh if, I shouldn't buy a sword. Yeah, if I'm gonna buy something, it should be something that uh, we specialize in. Thank you. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna bank everything for now. Uh, including the stringy wolf meat that we'll probably need for cooking. Uh, anything else I want to bank? Nah, I think, I think we're good on everything else. Whew, alright, guys. It's been a really fun time. I've had a great time, even with some of the flukes and problems we've had. It's been a really good night. Thank you guys so very much for being here for it. I appreciate you guys being here and hanging out. It's been an amazing time. Uh, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow, uh, much earlier in the day th than today. Uh, I'm probably going to try to play a lot tomorrow. So I, I might I might be on stream like a lot earlier than usual. I, I might do two different streams. I, I might like stream in the morning and then come back a little bit later in the afternoon or evening. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Hope you guys enjoyed today. Uh, I'd love to have you guys all back tomorrow. And until then, take care of yourselves out in the real world, and take care of each other, and we'll see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.